We got a full house today. Opie and Anthony, Patrice O'Neill has joined the program. Looking like a pimp. Oh, looking like a pimp, but he's looking good. Looking and, now like he's, a pimp. and now he's going around the room and, and, and talking about all of us and how we're dressed. He looks like every... I mean, y'all every, can step it up a little. He, he looks like every black guy in Easter. He looks he like a float in a parade. That's horrible. <laughs> Just because he's got a sport coat on. It's velvet, and it looks like Anthony's cousin's living room. <laughs> it really does. It looks like a couch in a coffee <laughs> shop in the East Village. Know, really, it's horrible. <laughs> Is somebody doing this. spoken word on you later? He really does look like antique furniture. Hold on. I don't have to, I don't have to take this. Leave you short. button up my top button. Thank right. you, Anthony. If you can, leave short stay motel curtains alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what bastards. But Patrice, uh, explain why the suit, though. Because you want to be taken a little more seriously, well, right? I, I was mad I was mad at the NBA when they made him... Uh, when they made him Term, wear suits. I was mad that they forced somebody to wear suits. But when Eddie Curry had a suit on one day, he was talking. I was listening. I never listen to Eddie Curry. It's just you, you just there's a something you know that what it, actually he looks good with when you got on a sports coat. For some you're taking more seriously if you if you wear nicer clothes. People so. listen to you more. Yeah. Here's, here's the problem. He's almost forty. I am. I'm he's 38. In the mirror Don't you point at almost 40, 42. I'm, 30. <laughs> I'm 39. <laughs> he stands in the Still mirror trying goes, to grow a beard. It won't to, happen. You want to make a million bucks? You got to look like a million bucks. <laughs> 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 hey, Patrice. Reading books, how to, yeah. <laughs> how to change your image and influence radio guys. <laughs> Dress for success. <laughs> What? Well, Dress for is, success. That's what Rob Bartlett told me when I started comedy. Well, that why, really? Is that why you have exactly. a squirrel skin coat? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Dress for, Dress for, Dress for success. success. Is that why? You dress like the Japanese on D-Day. <laughs> You couldn't you dress less for six <laughs> And Bobby Kelly refuses to let me actually dress like because this. Because I don't... He won't let me dress listen, nice. I just don't like it. I, you know, listen, you go through... You're like Madonna. You go through these phases. I, you're wearing these the, the, the hoodies with the team logos. I don't go to phase. I've been wearing hoodies for my entire life. Bobby's just upset because it's hard to find a 58 portly. <laughs> 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 no, Bob doesn't like Bob doesn't like his friend changing and growing up because Bob the Bob is very likes things like a group yeah. of buddies. I don't buddies. I don't like that at all. I, I'm the only one who got married out of you bunch of creeps. Oh really? Listen. Oh well. Yeah, but twice. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, and you notice that Patrice has been trying on a few different hats. Well, the hats. I think, that's the, what I think kills the one me. he's got today is the one he really likes. Though. But that's what kills me. He walked in the cellar yeah. with a ten-gallon hat. <laughs> I wanted to punch him in his face. <laughs> Bobby, you, you can't... said the funniest thing ever. It almost made me leave and stop dressing like that. I, I had on a checkered, I had a striped shirt with a checkered pants or so yeah. something that was crazy. Yeah. He goes, you look like you're trying to start your own line of barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest thing I think Bobby had ever said in his life. It just, I, it just, uh, it just, with Bobby, it goes right back to food. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, he looked like no country for fat men. <laughs> Hit, whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait, hold on. One. One more, one more, one that more. That joke made a garbage truck ride on the side of the street and kill two people. Man, I wish your jacket fell out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you oh. turn to hit your jacket. Oh, boy. Oh, you dumb hats. But he's digging this hat. He's had yeah. three different ones in the last if month. I, I think he's going to stick with this one. Hey, if I drink your jacket, will that help my kidneys? Cranberry. Oh, thanks, boss. Oh, oh wow. This is, wow. This is why I like out. dressing nice. <laughs> But why do you? They, if this really was bad, Voss would never. It no, I know it looks good because Norton is not trash. No, well, this I, is, it actually I, did. Look, it looked better. I wanted to hate it, but I saw him on CW11 and it, it worked. Uh, except the problem is this is who this is what Patrice is. Patrice is fucking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, so Jimmy's ready. dropping f bombs. <laughs> We're angry. No, it just makes us angry. Why are my friends mad at me for wearing a sports jacket? I thought they were going to do trying. When I saw you on CW11, I thought they were going to do the weather in front of you. Oh, can Please, you let I Jimmy talk? I don't get it. Oh, damn, like, what? You know, I had the green oh, ones. Green. Oh, green. Take green. him out of the game. I, I, it's <laughs> it's too late. The problem is Patrice is white what trash. Happened, Rich? <laughs> Patrice is tuxedo topless sweatpants <laughs> when he's sitting at a desk. Like he has a, it's a nice jacket and a nice hat, but then he has blue jeans and frumpy sneakers. 
<laughs> he dresses as nice as he has to I'm at any given to moment. Maintain something, Patrice. If you get on all fours, we could play hold them on your back. <laughs> <laughs> all the velvet. I just did. Wow! 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 That was a sneaky good one. Oh damn! Oh, wow. I was getting nervous. Oh, I wasn't going to get anything for that. One. All right. Uh, I'm telling this. Yeah, it's I should have went here. with blackjack. It has nothing to do with success. Uh, it's just a new voice. <laughs> It's not oh, hot in here. Though. He's wearing curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him sweating. <laughs> he's, well, <you> he's, <laughs> all right, well, so that was Jimmy's joke. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony, for for publicly announcing that you uh, like my new look. I just thought the uh, second you walked in, mm -hmm. you had that on. You had your hat and and your jacket on, and yet you were a bigger presence. Uh, than you you have been when you just walk in wearing your, your sports jersey and and uh, baseball cap. <laughs> He's six Norton. five wearing red velvet. <laughs> <laughs> You're acting like it's a star quality when he's a spectacle <laughs> with a Jewish hat on. Exactly. <laughs> well, there was some kind of a, uh, a star quality. Yeah, really? That you. It just looked that you look more impressive. He's and and important. Yeah, we got to give it, it to him. more okay. important. You got to work he, on the jeans. He has jeans, a Hasidic Jew hat on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it looks it, like every guy Kojak arrested. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. All right. Hey, uh, we, <laughs> let's see. It really stinks. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to a little material today. It's going to be just oh. a, a bash fest. I understand that. Oh. Uh, Here th comes this video. Jimmy Urkel Norton. No, no, no. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to that in a second. But we got the uh, the video of the paraplegic. We have to talk about this, and the video will be up on onaradio.com. Is Danny around to explain this? Basically, there's a paraplegic, and there was a cop that didn't understand, uh, didn't think he was, uh, you know, uh, 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 paralyzed or whatever, and and he dumped him out onto the floor. Right, Danny? And another videotape. Uh, you know what? What are the cops crazy? There's videotapes everywhere. And uh, this guy, <laughs> it looks real bad. Yeah, it's tough to explain this one to a jury that you didn't mean. Yeah. What happened, yeah. Dan? I don't know, man. I watched a few different uh, versions of the story, and they don't really get into why he was dumped out of the wheelchair. It, it just looks like the cop was angry at him uh, for whatever reason. I've heard they thought he was drunk. It, and and they didn't believe that he was uh, paralyzed. Well, he's on in a wheelchair. What do you? How do you get drunk and then get a wheelchair? And <laughs> was he white? Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's uh, here's the story. Terrible story out of Florida. You should mention the video you are about to see is really quite disturbing. Is it? Several employees from the Tampa Sheriff's Office are in trouble Hilarious. after a disturbing encounter with a quadriplegic. Officials say Brian Sterner was brought to jail on outstanding charges for eluding police. <clears throat> During the booking what? process, a sheriff's deputy dumped Sterner from his wheelchair. <laughs> wants felony charges brought against the deputy, as well as three other employees, because they didn't stop the attack. Sterner is a former high school wrestler who suffered a spine injury 14 years ago. Well, it's not like he felt it. Here's the thing, too. <laughs> that, that cop did to a guy in a wheelchair what every one of us wants to do in a guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> it's just tip him out on the floor and have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did he elude him? I know. Yeah, that's he, the his, trick. With his thumbs. <laughs> oh. <Right. laughs> anyway, you know, use the gas with their thumbs when they drive the cars. So. <laughs> Maybe hidden the crater of a bomb like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just amazing. So that video will be up on ONA Radio. Yeah, it's a really funny video. The guy just spills out and like. Yeah. And the great part, he has movement on the upper top, but the back, the bottom two, le his legs are just kind of twisted. Like, uh, can you? Can you? Yeah, he's just laying there on the floor. Like, doink. Yeah, but look, look at him. he's moving and his legs are all twisted sideways and feeling stupid. Oh, he's feeling like, stupid. Like jello on the floor. Yeah. Oh, we should make a rap video to this or something. It's just a remix. <laughs> Obviously, this man is lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's Peter Griffin's friend on the Family Guy? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Guy. I love what they do to him on Family Guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You want another taste of Norton's first TV appearance? Oh, please. Oh, you already started? Yeah. Well, well we bit. just got a little taste of it. Why don't you catch seconds. Patrice up? Why don't you catch? There's only two lines. Nah, we catch him up. Why even? But the yeah, audience. you got to catch him up. No, we can't. Come on. This no, is, we this can't. Is, and this is for fun? 
Huh? This is for fun. You're gonna let that get away from I know, the trees. I know Norton's Jersey hack origins. Ugh. I know it. I already know. Well, it's his first TV appearance so about 11 years ago. Let's go right back it was to Friday the Night Videos in 96. Yeah, here we go. Was it Friday Night Videos? Yeah, at Conan Studio. They were doing in New York. Yeah. There's an interview and the problem, with let's get back to my head. The, <laughs> oh. the problem with it is it doesn't look good on me. My father looks great. He has a crew cut, the handsome, sturdy, military face. Women <laughs> love my dad. Oh. That's where I screwed up. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a handsome, sturdy, military type of face. <clears throat> I have a little fat baby face. <laughs> It sucks. I am not sexy. A little crew cut, a little fat baby face. I look like the bastard son of Sinead O'Connor and Uncle Fester. Oh, I love when you put two people together as yeah. the bastard yeah. son of. I know. I don't. I don't have a handsome face. I don't have a handsome face. And after that, say you don't have a family or friends. <laughs> that voice should come with. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I could have changed that joke. Now I should redo it. Sinead O'Connor and Bob Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dad was a handsome oh, I face. <laughs> I will emphasize this part of the joke. And they didn't like my dad. That was uh, a lie. I was just trying to get to my dad. Yeah, did he drive you, just... you to this? Did he drive you to the set and go, are you going to talk about me or something? You did three jokes on your father already. Keep talking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you think I don't know? Nervous. I'll keep talking until something funny shows up. Chatter. <laughs> Idiots. Am <laughs> 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 an audience member? <laughs> After that set, you should be. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, oh, no, you did. Oh, no. Oh, they, they laughed at it. wasn't even funny. You said, I have a baby face. Well, I, did. I knew. No, but that's when you used to make facial expressions for your punchlines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little Play Doh face. Yeah. Bastard son. <laughs> and, <there's laughs> and, and who else? Uncle Fest? On crack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, did you have your hand up? Oh, he and he threw the mic down too. No, that was the opening of the yeah. HBO special. Did, did they just go to silhouette? <laughs> 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 they did once for you. It was called an eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just, you know, the sex about it is that there's just no way out of them. I, know. <laughs> they're, they're all, I have to accept them because they're always going to be there. <laughs> oh, they're just quick and easy, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you undermine that like it's quick and easy. Uh, okay. That was funny. Yeah, that was just, very good. Come oh, on, Bobby. They're very good. <laughs> oh, that was the best thing to happen to light if Bobby just became this little fat man. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always a quick, because he has funny fat shape. He's just... Uh, Completely round, like a little basketball, and it just uh, went bald. Like really, it's just it really nothing, there is a god. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby used to look like one, like he should had uh, cigarettes rolled up in yeah, his sleeve yeah, and right. now, just like smoke and blow smoke rings, and it just <laughs> fell apart. You now should have a yoo hoo and a ham looks, rolled up oh, in your no. sleeves. <laughs> now, now Bobby looks like the last pick. He does. <laughs> It's like a uh, little, okay. little like skinny girl or Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll take him. <laughs> you used to look like a movie star. Dude, man. Bobby. First time I met Bobby, like, like, beautiful, man. Now he looks like a movie theater. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised you're not showing something on your Now side. he has trouble just moving. <laughs> it's amazing to me that he's so much fatter than me. But here's the difference. I know, I know you're the difference. You're four foot seven. <laughs> Patricia's you supposed to be fat. You look like a scaffolding accident. He's supposed to be fat? Yeah, Patricia's supposed to be fat. You're not. That's I the know. difference. No. Wait. Yeah. It's just, I, uh, if Patrice fat is, me. Patrice is like big. You're like, oh my God, here he comes. You know what I mean? It's like you're very obvious when you walk in the room. Get serious. Yes, I get you. Oh, and punt. Oh, exactly. All right, let's go back and to Norton. Punt. Let's go back to Norton's right. first TV appearance. And then we can go back and talk about how Voss just did a Larry Amro story yeah, from uh, 1983. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby looks like a Tempur-Pedic pillow. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Perfect delivery, too. Oh, not too oh, eager. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, my you, God. You put your head on his back. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, we we got it. I know. But yeah, look at him. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Uh, very I relaxed. It. That was, yeah. He was very relaxed <laughs> in that delivery. Oh, it was perfect delivery. Like his outfit. Go. Very relaxed. A... <laughs> 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 oh, y'all making my head hurt. All right, let's go. Here's uh, Norm. First TV appearance. <laughs> yeah. 
I look young too, don't I? I hate that. I'm 27 years old. I look like a little boy. It's just the last woman that took me to bed tucked me in. <laughs> Tuck me in. I know. Tuck me to bed. Jeez. I just want to stay home and watch films. You want to see good movies? Forget the stuff that's out now. Watch the stuff from like the 1940s. Best movies ever done. Why? Because they couldn't curse on camera. They couldn't, so they had to show like their anger and annoyance by overacting. They were great movies. Watch one of them. Every time they get aggravated, they wouldn't curse. They would just go. I mean, that was a good face. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. Yeah. That's in the 40s. It's the 1990s. That is still the best thing to do in a bar. If a woman rejects you, it throws her right off track. Hey, baby, can I buy you a drink? No. <laughs> hey, baby, can I buy you a drink? <laughs> Rats. <laughs> God, you nice have, line. Was this in black and white and had subtitles? <laughs> hey, baby, can I buy you a drink? But by the way, you can hear all of these and many more jokes this weekend in San Francisco. Wow. Oh, I Tom? will be redoing this material. At wow, time. bringing it back. That's right. Hey, baby. Oh, rats. Uh, 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 uh. I like your delivery. Changed? I'm trying to think of what's changed about... What do you think changed about your thing now? You, like, well, you you mature as a performer. You're on stage every night, and you start to not feel good, not completely being yourself. You and there's he a there's a bitterness voice. now, which is good. I yeah, think. you you start. Well, to it sounds like you, but it sounds like I was a happy. Out of that it's happy a happy go, Jimmy. Well, a happy Jimmy. It's That's a happy, that, but that it wasn't is, a happy. It was a phony happy. Yeah. I'm coming out of. I was coming out of that by that point. And it was like, it's just the energy. I thought I had to do something to make people listen to that industry crap. Be likable. You have to be likable. Well, plus yep. that TV you know, show, plus, though. You couldn't have went on that TV show doing what you do now. I mean, you know, now you can finally do your, your HBO specials and do what you do. Back then, you had to, you had to do that crap. Right. And plus, there's this whole cadence. Show, you moved out of your parents' house. I still so. lived with my parents for three yeah. years after that. Oof. The way work. you talk, there was this whole... Eh, 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 eh. Well, speaking of that, we got to go to the phones. Chris in Florida has a good one. Uh, Chris, what's up? Uh, not, not much. I just wanted to say, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy sounds like a rat from the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew from Toronto. Andrew. Jimmy, I love you, but it sounds like someone's got their hand up your ass while drinking a glass of milk. That was a, it was not a bad line. He was basically we were going to get dumped out of that. But it was yeah, it's too bad. Well, the, he was implying that I sound like a ventriloquist. <laughs> yeah, like a no, dummy. No, you look like the dummy, and then you sound like the, the guy. All right, oh. oh. With that, let's go back. We can squeeze a little more in before the break <laughs> here. great watching you just spin out of control. I've had a lot of practice dealing with rejection. <laughs> no, I have. You know why? And don't pretend you didn't notice. You're a nice, polite crowd. I have oh. a tiny little chin, don't I? Look at this. I hate it. I have the profile of a frog. <laughs> Absolutely. I had a commercial audition today. One line. Bud. <laughs> I just oh. Oh, wow, at least you're doing topical humor, genius. <laughs> they're la they're laughing, offensive. No. Norton, they're la uh. Norton would trash a comic sounding like that right now. Like, it yes. Oh, yeah, what do you yeah. think we're doing? Praising it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But Norton has a fake. He's he's really proud. Norton is very nostalgic about himself. He's really proud of this material. He knows we're going to trash him, so he has his hand like... But he really is... He's listening yeah. and enjoying this nonsense. Incorrect. And, I'll, I have to shut up. No. Don't say no, incorrect. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why he's wrong. Incorrect. Because we all have that where you look back <laughs> on your... It's really embarrassing. I couldn't watch it. I, it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. I'd love to watch it. You had so much confidence. You went from no chin to a little chin in your set. Like all... Oh. You don't have to leave. Just relax. I love how Voss no, he takes the leave. headphones no, off is, like I'm <laughs> taking myself out. I'll tell you why this is not <laughs> as embarrassing as it could be. Because years ago, we did my 93 tape, and that was humiliating. The 93 one. Well, you rubbed your head. At least this one, I see where I'm like, all right, man, you're changing. I, I know what this is. It's, it's developing. It's, it's becoming what he is and today. And we can't see him. That's a, if we, well, we're going to put the video up on onaradio.com yeah, the and all the websites. That we need to see it, too, yeah. because this is just as bad. Norton, 10 years ago is as bad as a bad comic now. Like, yeah. he's not as bad. Like, I would see somebody like that saying this nonsense now. Like, I look like the frog and, you know, bud. There's guys that would still do that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so this he is... Stink it, he stinks uh, visual, too. We have to see how awful see he is. We have to see you and your dumb... I was awful. 
Uh, my interview, I hope they play the interview because that was really douchey. I was trying to be like very, very... Like, yeah, we oh, got the interview. Oh, I want to hear that. Yeah, oh, please, we got the interview. I was trying to be charming. That's Why? a little later, but let's get to the... You want it to be liked so uh, much. So much. Let's get yeah. uh, back to this. Jersey bum. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate my head. I tried to grow a goatee and slid off. <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair, man. Even the elephant man had a chin. <laughs> All right, granted, it was on the back of his head. <laughs> oh, a little laugh. You guys are going to... It's okay to laugh. He's not here, and I'm sorry, but when your head is that big and fat, you deserve to stand in a cage while British children throw pebbles at you. <laughs> British kids were great. They were ruthless. Look at him. He's got a big head. Pow! Pow! <laughs> I am not an animal! <laughs> yeah, well, you're no Mel Gibson either. Pow! <laughs> Well, you know Mel Gibson oh, either. Oh, oh. Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> couldn't just be regular children. there to be English. Oh, <laughs> you know right. Mel Gibson I, either. Mel Gibson either. Well, her, this, her, this, her. Was, this was a begging for some money set. Uh, he was going to show all his arsenal. I was, uh... He does these impersonations. <laughs> you think it's the real person. He does characters. This was going to skyrocket you to middle on the road. Wasn't it? <laughs> we can make him a paper boy in the new movie. <laughs> extra, extra. Let's go to John and Maine. John. Hey, boys. I just want to know why we're watching Simon Birch on the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It, people, a lot of people on uh, instant feedback, and this is what I'm getting too. The material isn't bad. Listen, like like there's Goat some slip some stuff made me damn laugh. I didn't yeah. want to laugh. Yeah, huh. but they're saying your voice and the way you're delivering your cadence and your voice yeah. is destroying of any of the it material. Is. It's awful. You sound like uh, like when you uh, can have your computer read back your text. <laughs> <laughs> have a goatee slip off your head. Oh, 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 <laughs> Hey. My dad was good looking. <laughs> you, you, sound, you sound like <laughs> Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> Catherine Hepburn. My That's what it is, Catherine oh, Hepburn. Oh, 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 oh. When he says that, you know, Mel Gibson, I mean, how uh, yeah, well, you stupid old... <laughs> there's a girl put you in a cage and throw rocks at you. And then his dumb non-confidence in his jokes because he thought he went too much over the head. He had to give 18 different examples <laughs> just to let him know it's an elephant man joke, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and he told you told me it's okay unsure to... Unsure boob, you... <laughs> <laughs> it was TV. I was scared. Unsure <laughs> 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 boob. It's okay to laugh. Elephant I am man, after every punchline. You get it? Right, right. You get it? Elephant man. Yeah. All right. We have to. We have to break. We got a Sports Illustrated oh. uh, swimsuit model coming in today. Fantastic. Yeah. We got a very busy show. Uh, we got today's honoree for Black History Month. Aunt. We'll just go right to the tape. It's yes. Opie and Anthony. All our friends are in here today, or just about all of them. There's a few missing. Yep. Uh, phone number eight seven seven two one two zero and A. Very busy day. You got uh, Obama winning like crazy last night. You got uh, Roger Clemens and uh, Brian uh, McNamee down there in Washington going at it today, right? Are we going to be able to see that on TV? Who knows? C-SPAN should have it, right? I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping. A mecca of excitement. Yeah, C-SPAN is a bore fest, but, you know, you just uh, throw it on in the background until they get to the, the juicy stuff. And we have something we're doing today. Rich, we didn't tell you this. <clears throat> but um, the, Oh, yeah, we got a little surprise for you, just a little one. It's not a big deal. But we were always we talk about the acting, and uh, we didn't know you guys were actually going to be able to have me and Voss do it. Um, but we're going to do a scene together. Oh, really? An acting scene. Yeah. But... I, and what do I do? You pull up and I go, are you going out tonight? <laughs> 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 but no, it's uh, we're going to have you do a scene. Um, Rich we're, we're always scene. goofing on, on Rich's yeah. acting and well, stuff. And uh, Jimmy. Yes. You know, I, 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 it, it would be fun to see you guys do a scene, a legitimate yes. scene. And well, try I mean, to, but, you know. I mean, I don't mind. It sounds like a lot of fun, but we don't have. it's not like I had time to prepare. Neither well, that's I. just I didn't it. Look at it either. I and and it's pretty much the fact that you guys are always talking about when you get an audition and you get a script, it's very hard to just do a cold read kind of a thing. I've never done a. I can't and even. I want to see that. Yeah, we want to just see you guys try it uh, off the cuff. I like know that. what we're. I think it'll be fun. I, I have an idea what we're doing. Why yeah. not? But I have not. Uh, I honestly have not looked at the script. I haven't. I, you know, I would tell, tell you if I did. Rich, your game, right? I would do one. No, like, do you I, hear his voice, Obi? He's a little nervous. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's, his, that's his Achilles heel, dude. He like, can't is it? act. <laughs> he just can't. Did you hear him? Yeah. Achilles torso. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He just can't act. Yeah. Well, we're gonna. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And I, and I, I love. I'm. This is saying it from a loving 
plays. He just oh, cannot really? act. Oh, really? Turn on American Dreams and watch me play Lenny Bruce. Dude, uh, they I, walked I, you through that. I, <laughs> no, I, 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 there was a guy on, in a green... Rich was... Let me tell you something. Rich was CGI'd on there. <laughs> he did that in a studio, and yeah. then they just plastered it on there when they finally said, look, how many more, <laughs> how many more takes do we need? It's 27? The, it's the same technology they do to make a dog talk on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, you're going to take that. It's pretty good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they did the, the, the dancing Ally McBeal baby with Voss. <laughs> they didn't spend money on the computer animation. They just put some peanut butter on the roof of his mouth. And as he moved his mouth, they dubbed in the words. Do, to do, do, do like Lenny Bruce. Bruce. Wilbur. Hold on, Rich. We need two microphones, two standing mics yeah. in the middle of that, in the room. I want two mics in stands. We, we have right. them. Two of them. Can yeah. I print it out so I can see it? I don't oh, have God, glasses. listen to them. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Do no, we you have do, the scene yet? You do get, when you go into a room, you do get a, like okay. at least a couple seconds. Do you get a couple of minutes yeah, to uh, look it over? Right. All right. What are we going to do? Like, uh, like uh, some kind of what? What kind of, we need like a man's uh, man movie. Uh, we got, uh, I th it was one of a couple things. It was either going to be a Bronx Tale or Goodfellas or possibly Raging Bull. Like, they took a scene from one of those films. Mm -hmm. Oh, we Rockstar. can play Raging Bull, and oh, they yeah. already have it printed out. Oh, they How do? about children of a lesser guard, so he doesn't have to talk? <laughs> <laughs> my no! My he just go, no! My <laughs> hey, How uh, about the Stephen Hawking story? <laughs> <laughs> and if, if, dummy, if Dummy did my left foot, he'd move the right one. <laughs> oh, cock. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all act like you're Oscar actors. Not, not we have good. a sense of acting oh, skill. Wait, so you played a gay doorman once. Yeah. And that's pretty good. I mean, he's a yeah, and you got to keep the coat. Patrice is convincing. Huh? Patrice is a good actor. Because when, uh, a, you know, I saw him in the office there in the in the warehouse scene. Yeah, you know, yeah, angry, like, angry put black that, guy. Put yeah. that disgusting face on. And he's looking at the white guy. <laughs> angry black guy. Bobby yeah, doesn't even have easy. to audition. Bobby just gets on a scale and they go, "You're right." Va Voss can't cold read <laughs> him. Can we stop for a second. Like, I, first of all, why? Voss, why? I, You're playing all, the big I'm a guy. Way Shut better up. actor than you. Yeah, Bobby can act. Uh, really? Way better. I've been off Broadway in Boston. Stupid. You are Broadway in Boston. Okay. No, I threw that up. You swung and hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you're not funny. You just can't act. I'm stupid. a comic. I'm a comic. Okay. You know what? That's, that's, that's debatable. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, give give boss his scene so he can prepare. We're going to do that in about 15, okay, 20 minutes, what, all right? What, what's, what scene Which is one do you want to do? Rich, we have is it three copies of the same one. Okay. Um, okay. Let me see one. Boss will play. Of course. He's going to play uh, Cologio. I would do this. Wait. From uh, Cologio. And... Um, and this, wait, that's going to be mine. And these, we're going to do a scene between, uh, apparently, in Bronx I want to follow along. And apparently, we're going to have other scripts now, too, for the guys. Um, we got one for Anthony, Obi-Wan. Oh, I would love one. And we got to get, oh, we got it for Bobby and Patrice, too. Okay. They're coming, they're coming. But there's two right here. So, uh, so what, it's a scene from, uh... Bronx Tale. Oh, okay. Uh, where, um... Where, uh, I'm Caligula. 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 This why you would not get the audition. Oh, I'm, you're I'm, I saw this movie. I'm Coolio. Coolio. Oh, Coolio. 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 I'm Coolio. <laughs> now, but but I think name? that. Wait a minute. I think that Johnny is. I'm guessing that's Sonny. I think that he probably just changed the name. Yeah. Uh, is that true, right? Yeah. This is the original script. Oh, okay. All right. So, but wait, who am boss I? is playing you're, who? You're, which one is highlighted on yours? You're, you're Coley Geo. Yeah, it's highlighted. Oh. The scene is highlighted. Who am I? Which one am I? You're number 46, the page number in the corner. <laughs> exactly. 46. Oh, I don't read that? No, you wouldn't even get that right. All right, very cool. 40 plus 6. <laughs> well, why don't you go sit and practice there, boss? Oh, <laughs> I don't like how cocky you are. Yeah, we're going to do this like, scene in about 15 minutes. Listen, we got uh, uh, another great story we got to get to today. A high school teacher. A lot of teachers listen to this show as they go to school there. And, and, and teach the, the brats out there. Well, there's a high school teacher making the news who couldn't read, write, or spell. Now, how the hell did they get away with that? I don't know. We're going to find out here. John Corcoran has a high school diploma, a college degree, and even taught high school students for nearly two decades. His achievements are nothing out of the ordinary, but what sets him apart is that he accomplished all this without the ability to read or write. I can remember when I was eight years old saying my prayers 
at night saying, please, God, tomorrow, when it's my turn to read, please let me read. You just pretend like you're invisible. And when the teacher says, Johnny, read, you just wait that teacher out. So, so he couldn't read. How do you, but not explaining how he became a teacher by not knowing how to read or write. Or how, spell. Yeah, how do you then become a teacher and then hold down a job as a teacher? I cheated in every one of my classes. Oh. Oh, okay. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in education. <laughs> There's the guy who gets a bachelor's degree. Or write. Ironically, Corcoran's next decision landed him back in the classroom. He got a job during a teacher shortage. They gave uh, almost all the college graduates in education a job. For 17 years, Corcoran taught high school for the Oceanside School District. He relied on teachers' assistance for help and oral lesson plans. But at the age of 48, a change of heart. It's embarrassing for me and it's embarrassing for this nation. John Corcoran studied and worked with a tutor here at the Carlsbad City Library. Within a year, he was able to read and write at a sixth grade level. What is go? What? How? How did he get through college? Yeah, did he have this other? This doesn't make any sense. We need more info. Did he have people writing the papers for him? Like, how, how did he like read the questions on the test? He said he cheated. All right, fine. How did he cheat though? If he can't read, write, or spell? Yeah. Mm. And then he's a teacher. And then he's a teacher, and and no one is suspicious that uh, he's using teacher, you know, aids and stuff. It and and what oral? P they said something like he he just handed out like oral uh, subjects. Yeah, like people had to answer, uh, get up in front of the class and just say their report. How did he know to give him an A, B, C, <laughs> or D? <laughs> what do you give him? What do you give him? Smiley faces. He's giving... <laughs> What does this mean? I got a Q. You got, you got a Q. <laughs> right. How did I do? I gave you an upside down boomerang with a line through it. Right, right. <laughs> oh my god! Everyone's getting their test back and they're going around the room. I, I got, I got a unicorn sticking. What does that mean? What is a mushroom? Right. A I got fingerprint. A, I, got, <laughs> I got three fingerprints and a rainbow. What is this? <laughs> Oh my uh, God! How did he give you give a scrub grade? Corcoran is now an education advocate. His goal is to create a bridge to literacy. If we would just teach our people how to read and write and spell, we would give them a fair chance. A chance he hopes to give to others by sharing his amazing story. Uh, Cheating. We got something from Nevada. Don't be so shocked. Rich Voss became became a comedian, and he's not funny. <laughs> 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 All right, whatever. Whatever. The boss is in the bathroom right now yeah. with his lines. He's practicing. He's is he actually saying them? He didn't want to say them in here, so now he's going to go. He just called Bonnie. Oh, he just called Bonnie. He's doing them over the... Uh, oh, yeah. oh. Why is he freaking Bonnie out? Bonnie, read with me. It's just Ross, too. It's, it's it's just because we, we goof on him so much about his acting. We goof on me about my acting, that, too. Yeah. They call me in Lucky Louie. I, I was, was silent film acting. I got to do it for that. <laughs> And at the end, every one of your little scenes, it was Swallow a first. facial expression. Why, Rich? Oh. With, with your script? I know. Yeah, because... You could go to the bathroom while we're in commercials. Oh. Yeah. Man, what are you he's doing? Nervous, you? No, he's nervous. Let him, let him do it. Well, I'm not nervous at all. He just, up. He called. You know I'm a better actor. That's okay. I'm a comic. What? And no, uh... How defeated that was, by the way. Uh, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm a comic. Well, I didn't, I didn't right. have the right, the right word. I'll tell you but... what, you show up at Cash and Rising Star in Rhode Island this weekend. I Swallow. can't. I'll be at Cobbs in San Francisco. Oh. oh. Okay. Stop by Ro hey, you know what? You're at Cobbs this week? What time do you get off work? Because Friday night, our special's there. Our new ones. On Good Comedy one. Central. You know what? That was that was a dueling plug. Yeah. Wow. Stupid did well. <laughs> See, he can improv. <laughs> Plugs. I wish you could improve. <laughs> that was either going to get a great laugh or get you thrown out of the room. <laughs> yeah, that, was, yeah. that was very good. Let's uh, let's say hi to Shane in the Bronx. Shane, what's up? Good morning, gentlemen. Hey. And, uh, oh, met your sister at uh, FH Riley's. She's a very, very nice girl. I think uh, I'm having deja vu. Yeah, yeah, you are. I okay. say it every time I call. All I right. FH Riley's anyway, 400 uh, New York yeah. Avenue in the heart of Huntington Village. I'll be there all weekend long. Let's uh, let, let's have some fun this weekend. All right, Shane, what's up? Uh, you know, Rich's acting is so horrible, he would screw up the lines 
from the Indian from one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Oh, he didn't talk. Do it again. Read it again. Um. You know, Rich's boss is... Rich, uh, Rich's, boss. Rich's boss. <laughs> Rich's boss. Rich's boss. Uh, ain't so no, easy, is it, it, fella? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, I love I love that so much when Call is just... Yeah. You know, it just shows you now you got to be here six hours and trying to be funny. And it's just, and some guy calls and all he needs is his one second of glory. One line. Nothing. Right when he, he made that. Rich possessive. Rich's Voss. Rich's Voss. <laughs> Nothing! Oh. Angry Patrice gets. I know. The guy, Andy Warhol just rolled over in his grave. You blew one of your 15 minutes. That's not bad. <laughs> no. And then imagine that guy could hang up. Now Voss has to sit here That's right. yeah. and wait for the next funny. Hopefully. I know. <laughs> and my problem with that one, this is my only problem, is you had so little faith in that Andy Warhol line, you built an explanation into the joke. <laughs> <laughs> and pre-planned the bombing yeah. so he could pretend it was just to make a point. Yeah, but no, I'm just saying, 15 minutes. <laughs> I, I <couldn't> <laughs> the, they're getting the microphones ready for the big acting it, scene. That's basically when you're doing acting, you have to stand there in a room when you're doing... Uh, <laughs> that was boss. Jeez, boss. Uh, believe me, oh, you'll be lucky if you can do that during the scene. <laughs> um, so you're gonna have that one right there. Yeah. Cool. And Rich, could you use his mic? When are we doing this? In like ten minutes? We got yeah. another one coming. Okay, good. Are we almost ready? We'll probably uh, break and then do it, I guess. Cool. All right, hey, uh, Patrice. Uh, Valentine's Day. You're like the love doctor. Yeah. What were you telling them on Channel Eleven? I was just telling them, you know, mm. what Valentine's Day was. And what is this? Nothing. I'm sure you got some angle here. Absolute nothing. <laughs> it's just I, I just brought my girl two weeks ago. I brought her like three hundred dollars worth of drawers. I got to buy her flowers too next week. No, this is this is one of those things. It's, it really it's a day where you should be able to take off from all the other nice stuff you did. It should be a holiday for men to not do nothing right. for their girl. How about you take me out for dinner once? Yeah, exactly. I got my girl cooking me a lamb. Well, the whole lamb. <laughs> with the, the wool still on it. <laughs> yeah, then you can make a jacket out of it. <laughs> it's right now. His little paws are burning and his stupid pot is... <laughs> 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 A whole, a whole, a lamb. Not even, a, not even one of the pieces. It's Usually just a, a whole lamb, lamb. A lamb. <laughs> oh, it's been de-skinned and sold. <laughs> and it's, it's expression on his face. Uh, Bobby's just watching No Country for Old Men and sucking on a hoof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hoof got it. You know that. If you say hoof, it wouldn't have landed. <laughs> you know what, dude? I put some weight on, but you know what, dude? <laughs> Married, I'm happy, I'm still me. <laughs> That's Bob alone. Uh, just trying to convince uh, himself. Dude, you know what? That's what I've been acting my whole life. <laughs> it's me in therapy. Dude, I'm comfortable with me. Dude, you know what, dude? As a kid, I was acting. Oh. <laughs> And his oh. hair is hitting the floor. He's just like, I'm okay. Put <laughs> you in a big tub. <laughs> Bobby's bang is just on the floor. Oh, man, dude. Dude, dude, it's all right with me. You know what, dude? I'm going to do this. I've lived. I've party. You yeah. know what? I've done my life. Dude, I've had my fun. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> this Oh, shit. And he's crying in the mirror. Oh, oh what with the curse? What with the curse? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's all. Did you good. curse? I didn't. I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I just was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing too hard. I'm Goodness. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that was a good. Bob one. looks like a clown as you're trying to figure out what shape it is. Looks <laughs> 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 like Lincoln. No. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Oh. Uh, what, is, what is Anthony doing? You've been staring at a, uh, you've been staring at your iPhone for ten minutes. Join the club. Uh, I'm laughing at you. You're not. You haven't you laughed in one Everybody, <laughs> cloud. I laughed at the cloud joke very hard. All right, you geek. Trying to figure out your what iPhone. you. Trying to figure out what shape you are. <laughs> uh, Mike from Rockway asked, "What? What is Bobby's girl?" For making for herself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reservations. Oh, oh, wow. Voss. What's wrong with you? I love yeah. Voss. 
Ah, uh, wow. That's, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to stop on every line. Well, yeah. well, it, it, you just messed up. The, it's, you know, it's like one of those old trains that they throw a coal in and you just, one of the shovels just what? misses. And it's just the train just stopped. What? Stop the train. <laughs> what? <laughs> what train? What, what, the, what are you talking it about? Was a mo it was momentum. First oh, of all, it, we update was your analogies, you. fatso. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. There's a call with a train Bobby and a call with a tree black. Oh, God. Oh. Wow. Wow. That was it's a pile good. up. It's a pile up. Uh, <laughs> the tracks are icy. <laughs> <laughs> See another train? <laughs> I was with you on the train when I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right. We got uh, the Sports Illustrated uh, swimsuit uh, model. Okay, cool. Oh, man. She's going to be scared when she comes in here today. And we'll do some acting. We got like eight, 10 guys. Acting. And that's just on the couch. And then, and then <laughs> we're oh, Okay. It's just, boss, it's just Bobby and Patrice on the couch. Yeah. And he was basically saying that the mass of those two. Yeah. Well, make 10 men. 10 men. Yeah. Exaggerate humor. I'm a big fan of that. But... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I am, actually. Really? What, what is she going to... Wow. That's going to get interesting after you the know, break. I mean, she looks Obi's good. funny. Obi really is like, feeling like we're being really too mean to Vols, and he's giving Vols encouragement. <laughs> I know he's doing well, I, I am a fan of what I, always, I like that. Oh, no, that was sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs> it's okay, buckaroo. <laughs> I, I just want him to do well. You just... <laughs> just uh, Kind of gently over. Me. Boss <laughs> runs very hot and cold. Like when he's cold, he's he's cold. But when he's hot, he's he's very very. Boss deadly. is a he is, it's, it's very either deadly. a train wreck or a class. Yeah, he has yeah. no middle ground. Well, yeah. Boss is like the little leaguer that closes his eyes and hopes for the best, and everyone <laughs> swings while, away. Every once in a while, he connects. And it's, Yay! It's a good one. A fifty-seven-year-old bad news bear. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing baseball and he went with the Yeah, it works. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Uh, I mean, it was. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick break. One of my favorites. My father was a good looking man. Quick break and we'll continue. Opie and Anthony and the whole gang today. It's Rich is Mike. What's wrong, he Rich? completely <laughs> broke it. He's, he's losing his mind, I think. He really he's is just losing too. it. Hold we, on, Kenny's going to test those two. Kenny? Uh, so, I don't know. Which, which, which ones are they? Which one is it? No, just, right this, one? this one? This one. This, this one? What? That one? Wow, we just pushed three different buttons. Okay, go ahead, Kenny. Hello, GH. Test that one. Hello, GH. Okay, good. Thank They're both working. And we have, uh, yeah. Danielle come. It, wow. She's hot. It, dude, it, it's like, it's depressing. <laughs> Bringing tears to your eyes, Jimmy? She's, uh, yeah, she's a, a supermodel from Brazil. She's 21. Daniela uh, Sarayiba, I think is how you say her name. Yeah, um, uh, she's, Sports uh, Illustrated swimsuit model. Oh, yes. And, uh, hi. Hello. She certainly is. Are you real? Oh, really go for your dad. <laughs> Are you real? I'm real. Oh, my. Is she real? <laughs> if you only can touch. <laughs> what? You said you can touch. Oh, huh. Oh, <laughs> you, don't want to, you don't want to say that to this crew. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. So you're in this month's uh, uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Yeah. For my fourth time, I'm in Sports Illustrated swimsuit. It's amazing being there. Four times? My fourth year, actually. Fourth year, wow. Um, uh... <laughs> and this is the actually wearing the exact opposite of what you could have worn in the Sports Illustrated. Oh, boy, a big so heavy sweater. Outside. I know it's very cold out. Don't cold. you don't you girls do some uh, photo shoots though when it's kind of cold, even though you're in bikinis? Yeah, sometimes it's really freezing. Like um, not in the shot for Sports Illustrated, but just to have an idea, I was shooting in China. It was zero funny height, and I had summer clothes. So. Oh, and it was cold out, and yeah. So how about we take the sweater off then? <laughs> you can't take the sweater off. Yeah, don't be, why? Don't be, don't be. Patrice, don't be Patrice you're with me, right? Don't be crude. Yeah, take the Patrice, with me. It's just a, it's just a bra. Well, Where in Brazil are you from? I'm from Rio de Janeiro. No, oh, oh, what's up? Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, 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 baby. Mia Pataka, baby. Mia Pataka. Help me. Help me. Hey. Tudo bem. Tudo bem. Quantos anos? Yes. No. Quanto 
Custo muito caro. Não come o meio a todos. Obrigado, obrigado. Obrigado. De nada. De nada. De nada. Desculpe, por favor. Uh, Bobby uh, Brasil. Bobby Sher no USA. Share it on LeBlanc, please. Share it on LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Oh, have you been there? I've uh, been there. What, what do you yeah. think? Do you yes. know the music? Uh, Girl from Ipanema. Nah, I don't no. pay no attention. Oh, come music. On, you know? I don't listen to Do listen to Davis. Song. I know, I know. You don't listen to music. What, uh, uh, what, what, uh, uh, what's the, what's the place? What? The, um, Monte Carlo? The Monte Carlo. Hosinha or Vidigal? Hosinha, Hosinha. That's where you're from, Hosinha? No, no, no. Or Vidigal? <laughs> <laughs> it's close to my house, but it's favela. What favela? Really yeah, what favela are you from? What favela are you from? I don't live in the favela, but it's in the I know, I know, not close. now, but I know you grew up there, right? <laughs> Wait, what? Where's your little shack house, <laughs> baby? Come on, guys, now talk to me. The slums? Uh, the slums? Yeah, the yeah, you're asking you. what slum she's from? <laughs> 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 and they say I'm bad. Is the water sweat? I'm the scoop, eh, por favor. It wouldn't be bad to go in the favela, actually. Some people are very nice. Some people are not very nice. It's like you yeah. gotta be careful there. These, you, these guys. You guys have been in Brazil a, f a few times. They enjoy yeah. going to Brazil. And they don't enjoy the beaches. Uh, it's no, no, they don't even know what the beach looks like. Right? They, uh, <laughs> they usually oh, stay at what, the hotel? <laughs> yes, we would stay in the hotel and we would go out and have uh, Coca-Colas at, at Help A. And uh, we would go to... Uh, <laughs> What's Help A? Help A's a, a nightclub. Ah, you know, uh, okay. And at the Monte Carlo, they had a, a oh, little wallet, water cooler help. that was nice help. that we'd use. And, so uh, you yeah. went to Rio de Janeiro to go to your help, is yes, it? Yes, yes. Yes. This club. Where else is, what else is there to do? Of, uh, what, uh, what, well, what? A girl's, what? right? What? Oh, prostitute. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that what you Come on now. Like Come on now. These girls is like that us. What you Come on doing? now. They liked us. I know. Come I know. now, now. I tell you, I've been there once. I got really shocked. And oh, you're, doing, you you're doing Letterman tonight, too, right? Entertainment. You doing uh, Letterman? Are you on Letterman? No, not Letterman. Oh, David, what, what no. Okay. I'm, do, I David, uh, I'm doing uh, Kenan O'Brien. Oh right. Oh wow. Cool. Yeah. I'll be back in a second. I'm getting time. nervous. You guys are trying to relax me a little bit here. <laughs> Why are you? Oh, oh, don't get nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous. Don't get nervous at all. You're gonna be great on Conan. Oh my mm. Yeah. Well, these guys like yeah. to go down there for some. Uh, Recreation. Yeah, the sun. Right. I like the sun. I like going down there. Yeah. I like going to the beach in July. I don't like this weather. What's going on, guys? It's winter. It, it's... I came from Brazil. Super summer. Oh, so nice beach. and warm. We cross the street. We are there in the beach, and now I come here and it's windy. It's like snowing and raining. Yeah. It's God punishing you for your yeah. beauty, guys. Let's move <laughs> to Brazil. <laughs> So now, what, what? How did you? How did you get into modeling? You're in Brazil, uh, and how? Uh, and you you Our look DNA got it. You look it's very modeling. you look very pretty and everything. So what? Did somebody approach you? Oh, and I tell you, my mom she was a model. Ow. Too. Oh, your mom was a model. Unfortunately, she's not she's here because she's gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, how old is she? Now she's fifty, but oh. she do, she looks like thirty five. Oh. No, she's oh. hot. She oh, you is. love your mother. Let me, I'll be the judge of that. You got a picture of her? <laughs> And uh, so my mom, when she got pregnant, uh, <gasps> I was born in three days. I was cover from a, a very important magazine in Brazil. Three days old, you already had the cover shot. I already had the cover shot. Yeah, and, a uh, nude. A nude, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Three Not days old. Are you married? Baby nude. Yeah, baby nude. I wasn't that cute actually when I was. Born. No, <laughs> did you go through a funny stage in like uh, the ugly school? Duck. Because a lot of models, they say, oh, I, I was like the ugly duckling in, yeah, in junior have, high or high school back there. and stuff. Or were well, you just after, always? Like after two years, I started to get like cute. Yeah. Better, you can see though, where you know? like a head's kind of funny shape. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Patrice. No, what he's saying. I know what he's saying. He's yeah, saying you there, was, see there was a time where she was a little awkward right? and she grew into her beauty. Didn't? Right? Now she's now she's She didn't beautiful. say that, you dumbass. Oh, all right. I was just trying a, to protect her. For, she's hey. three days old on a cover and I'm then after a couple of years she uh, no, goes cute. No, and after that I stopped it completely and um, I started working again when I was 11 to 12. Oh, really? Because and she's always, married, I think. Look at I, was always, yeah. I just got married, sorry, guys. Is he Ooh. from Brazil? Yeah. Brazilian I love guy? He, Five months ago. He does really? the capoeira and all. I mean, he does the karate thing and all. Caipirinha, of course. We're the best in caipirinha. I mean, he knows anything. If you want, I can do one for you. What is the vodka? Can't, we need the vodka, the cachaça. You know how to do that? 
Of course I know. Do you do jujitsu too and all that? No, 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 no. no does no. he do jujitsu? He probably no, does. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's he do? He's a model too. Huh? Wait, she can no, do no, some no, moves. No, no, no. She can do <laughs> moves. Well, the you know to the. Do in my business. Can you? No. Like, it's Brazilian. It's like this. Can she like, take out E-Rock or something? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm sure she can. She kick him right <laughs> in his soft face. You want <laughs> E-Rock? You want to take her on? <laughs> how old is your How old is your husband? Uh, why? <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that? Okay. I'm curious because she's 21. I want to know. No, I'm 23, guys. So Ooh. you're 23, and yeah. and I want. If I you want to say I'm 21, I'd be happy. I so think. you're 23, uh -huh. but I was wondering because it's you know you just uh, try to understand where you're coming from. Is it an older man or is it your age? No, he's 34. Delicious. Oh, okay. It's perfect. I yeah. don't like her young guys. No. No. Me neither. No, they're probably just you know. No, it's too. Your model. Babies. Yeah. Yeah. They Come it has to fast. be like 11 years different. <laughs> eight, 8 to 11. 8 to 11 years uh, yeah. old? Difference. Yeah, that's different. And what attracted, <laughs> what attracted you to him? Huh? What attracted you to him? Electricity. <laughs> <laughs> he got out there for Vela. Come on. Tony. All right, listen. <laughs> we gotta, yeah, we're going to... We can you hang out? Because these guys got to do a, a, a scene really action. fast. We're gonna, we just hang out, though. We'll promote... Yeah, but promote Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, right? Yeah. The, uh, I, I, we can't Conan see. tonight. It's uh, uh, her name is uh, Dan, uh, Daniela uh, Saraiba. Saraiba. Yes. Saraiba. Saraiba. And how tall are you? Five ten. Five ten. Brunette. Wow. Beautiful. Just Five beautiful. Ten. Gorgeous. Okay, Rich, you want to come up? Let's go to the thing. Uh, we're gonna do voices. Yeah. They're gonna do a little scene. We're gonna do a scene from a Bronx Tale. Watch and enjoy. Um, oh my God, turn the mic towards that one. Toward, turn yeah. the mics together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. That's the way we would do it in an audition. Let me just uh, prep this a little bit. All right. So wait, why don't we explain what's going on? Because she's yeah, looking. She's just yeah, wandering yeah. around. Yeah, just stay there. That's why you. Oh yeah, yeah. You can just, just watch yeah, for yeah. a little while. Basically, uh, Rich Voss hey, talks about how he oh, sucks at myself. auditions, right, Rich? Yes. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. And uh, a lot of times you guys got to do cold reads, right? Yes. Way to go, Steve. That was uh, the the. So Voss is gonna do a cold read. Um, he's he's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> look at this dumb. Face. Oh my god! Look at <laughs> look at Voss's retarded <laughs> stupid face. We just said he wants boss. to call his mother. We just set up Voss so bad. <laughs> Uh, Steve, oh. the worst timing in radio, by the way. Not at all. He told me to. No, we needed the, the big oh. setup, but uh, Jimmy was going to do the scene with Rich Voss, a cold scene. But actually, Jimmy was never going to do a scene with Rich Voss. No. Chaz Palmateri is going to be there. <laughs> Chaz Palmateri. Look at Voss's hands. Voss. He's, he can do his hands. They're wiggling. His little fingers can't stop moving. Oh. <laughs> it's Chaz Palmateri. <laughs> Like Who, by the way, wrote this <laughs> yes. uh, Bronx Tale, uh, which he's performing uh, alone, a uh, uh, one-man show on Which we Broadway. saw and we loved. Amazing. We, we had him boss, talking about it. Yeah. He's trying his best to figure out something funny to say to get him out of this <laughs> weird <laughs> pain. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch our uh, last comic stand? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't going to help you. Hey, Chaz, how are you, buddy? Right, man. How you doing? Good. Guys? Good to see you again. Uh, right. Chaz actually extended his run at the uh, uh, mm -hmm. Winfoot Theater yet? At the Walter Kerr Theater the Walter, on 48th. Uh, until February 24th, so a little over a week. You got, what, t uh, 11 days. 11 more days, and then it's, uh, it's done. And I'm telling you, Jimmy and I saw it with our girls, and uh, we absolutely loved it. It's a well, one This one-man show is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, is this the play, or this is the movie? This is from the film, but when Chaz does the play, there's the whole thing by himself. It's, this, it's a one it's, a, it's an amazing you do work this, of art. Like, it's how he originally so, did it. So he so knows the lines. Dude, he's the only guy on stage. This is, uh, this is how the movie was made back in the day, and now right. he's going... Going backwards I heard a bit him, I heard, to redo I heard the, the show one man show. On, yeah. By the way, one of the best the uh, best stories I've ever heard in terms of Oh yeah. Very inspirational story, dude. Your whole story is great. Oh, thanks very much. He stuck to his guns and said, I'll do this myself. Beautiful. It was a beautiful. Yeah. So we give out the number for tickets. 212-239-6900. It uh, the run does end February 24th here in New York. Uh, <laughs> Look at Voss wants to jump off that plane though. <laughs> Voss is a twitching mess. <laughs> 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 His hands, his little fingers. Oh, look at it's him. It's like playing the piano. You all right? <laughs> Sir, Rich, what did right? that sweaty little hand feel like? Did it feel like <laughs> you would have an oyster bar? Just <laughs> <laughs> his dead little slug hands. <laughs> all nervous. He's sweating. Uh, oh, we set up Rich really bad, man. So really <laughs> bad. He thought he was doing a scene with Norton. <laughs> he's fixing his tie that he doesn't even have one. <laughs> like, oh. uh, Chaz, oh. by the way, that's Daniela. She's in uh, the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Hi, Hi Daniela. How are you? No, she has way too many clothes on. She's pretty you ever much. You see Bronx Tale, beautiful? <laughs> huh? You ever see the Bronx Tale on the plane? No, no. no. On the plane. It's one of the great, great American movies of all time. Sort yeah, of like Children I can of imagine. Children of God. No, City of God. Yeah, of course. it's it's bigger than that. Yeah. 
Oh, nice. So Voss is going to play, uh, of course, C and, and Chad. Now, when you wrote this, I noticed in the script it's Johnny, but originally that, that, changed, that was originally yeah. Johnny's now Sonny, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but but uh, Voss is going to play C. Just for we only have a short yeah. scene. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and any any, any direction you might want to give Rich as far as uh, how he should be delivering these lines. Yeah. From uh, my car. We'll go. <laughs> this is so epic. In one ear and out the other. This is so epic. Oh, look By the way, that. these guys didn't know either. The this only is ones so. That know. No. You understand yeah. No one epic. knew. He was going to have a hard time with no neck gym. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Yeah. Jazz. This yeah, is voluntary. This is the guy that wrote it. I didn't even know that was it. him for a second. Like he looks like a um, like a rocker from a back in the day. I thought it was some rocker or something. Or I'm like, what? <laughs> right. Hey, okay. He's, he's a stand-up comic. Come on. I mean, but he's also he fancies himself quite an actor. Oh, I do really. That's why we really? put. You were brave. Oh, come on. Lenny you were just Bruce. I you played Lenny just... Bruce. Played a clip. <laughs> no. Oh, we're gonna I watch had time this clip. to prepare. But you know what? <laughs> it's no problem. All right, look at this what fake you, bravado. I know. I know, I'm a mess. Uh, I really... Well, you really <laughs> are trying to get confidence attacking yeah. his friends. Just, just focus just on relax, Chaz's bro. eyes. You, uh, you're a stand-up comic. You don't have to tell you to relax. Come on. No. And he's, he's got sunglasses on. I, yeah. I, I can't do what you guys do, man, so come on. You don't need to. We're desperate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't yes. need to. You can act. You don't yes. have to. Right. Yes, you can. Yeah. Look at him. All you have to do is buy a sandwich. <laughs> right. You're bombing oh, in front oh, of Chad. Rich. What's wrong with you? Just relax. Just I'm very relaxed. Breathe in. Yeah. Now it's hold it. Fun. What are you kidding me? <laughs> I haven't and done Don't this. let it out. I can't believe I'm doing this here for you guys. But I guess I, I am. We greatly appreciate it. Well, Chad, the pressure You have is no idea. The, They'll be talking about this one for a while. The pressure is not the, on you. The Rich Vaughn uh, setup. You could just pretty much read it. The, we want to see what Rich can do with it. Yeah. You, right. You've proven pretty All much. All right, come on, Rich. Let's see what you got here. <laughs> Don't screw up my words. Huh? <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, wait, wait, set, wait, set up the an, scene, please. We need an action, <laughs> too. Who we, wants to set up the scene? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll set it up. Okay. Set it up. Uh, this is when Collogio and uh, and Sonny get together, and uh, uh, Collogio's telling Sonny, you know, this guy Louis Beans owes him a lot of money, and he's not paying him, and what am I going to do about it? So finally Sonny tells him, you know, he kind of like, he's a philosopher, Sonny, and he says, look, don't worry about the money. I'll straighten it out for you. Listen, this is, this is the reason why you shouldn't worry about it. Okay. Okay, let's go. Louis! Beans, I want my money. Beans, you can't dodge me forever. See, come on, what are you, come on, what are you doing? What are you yelling about, huh? John, I got a problem with this guy over here, Louis Beans. This guy owes me twenty, and it's been two weeks now. And every time I see him, he dodges me. <laughs> <laughs> Quit. What? I know. Hold on, it's better than I thought it would be. What are you? Yeah. Because you're not breathing. No, just take a breath. You're, you're saying a whole paragraph on one breath. Chaz is laughing right at you. Just, Chaz is yeah. doubled over and he's laughing at you. Oh, this is better than that. Chaz is like, wow, this reminds me of Kaiser Sosa. <laughs> no, I'm laughing because of what he says. You're not breathing. Kaiser. You're not breathing. <laughs> he went and then started his lines. It wasn't going to stop until he was done with the scene. You have to oh. take a breath. All right, you can the... pause. Hey, pause. Well, this is a cold read. I didn't see it. It's uh, really yeah. cold. It's yeah. freezing. <laughs> start over, uh, Rich. Go ahead. I got it. <laughs> start over from John. I got a problem. No, I'm going to start from the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. All right. All right. All right. All right. But just this time, try acting. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Nothing. And try right. try looking up at him a little. I, yeah. Well, you know, he's not connect. Hold on. He's, he's, not, he's not connecting with me. Are you crazy? Oh, you. my God. Are you I mean, not? I, I don't want to say that. Oh, Chaz, he stinks. Get your act together, Pomodary. What's wrong with you? Chaz, you need the proper motivation. <laughs> Listen, Mr. One Man Play. This is Rich Voss here. Chaz, Chaz your motivation can be this. Uh, let's Chaz. throw up this while he's acting. One. Chaz can do this in his sleep, Rich. Listen, oh, just God. try to look up from the page yeah, and connect with him a little bit. You want to connect with my Rich? Let's go. I, 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 you know, lock, he, I hope he locks the door let's and says, now you can't leave. All right, let's show. Go ahead. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Louie, Beans, I want my money. Beans, you can't dodge me forever. Come on. What are you doing about? What are you yelling about, huh? John, I got a problem with this guy over here. Louis Beans, this guy owes me 20, and it's been two weeks now, and every time he sees me, he keeps dodging me. Should I crack him one or what? Come on, listen. He wants his Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Sometimes violence is not the answer, kid. Is, he, is he a good friend of yours? No, John, I don't even like this guy. Well, there's your answer right there. Hey, look at it this way. It costs you $20 to get rid of him, right? He's never going to ask you for money again. He's never going to bother you again, right? He's out of your life for $20, so forget about it. Look, 
You're right, John. You're always right. How do you know the right the right answer all the time, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, this isn't even in the thing, look, Jesus. why don't you look at the line, Listen, stupid, hey, C, here's the thing, I don't want to, you just I got don't. fired from here, C, hey, listen, listen, kid, right. get back right. on your father's bus and get out of my face, I, I gotta tell you one thing what? also, Chaz is delivering these lines I, like perfectly. Yeah. I understand you've well, done I this. You, you you wrote this, but it's it. That's watching the consummate actor and a buffoon. Listen, hold on, shock doc. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay. First of all, I don't want to disrespect Mr. Then Listen, try right acting okay, better. Stop about Mr. it. Mr. Watts, what's his name right? Mr. Watts, right. you can't even pronounce his name right. Chaz is funny. Chaz. <laughs> but the thing it's is, just and it's out of like, control. he didn't. Why read, are you reading you, the paper listen, to you, explain how bad you? Because the last line you got off cheap, he didn't deliver, so I didn't have my. You cue. know what it's called? Oh, you're blaming him. Yeah, because no, I know because he knows what he wrote it. So he's he alive in the it. moment. He's, he's in the moment. moment. He and the don't you wink at Chaz Palminteri like like a switch? Did you? What did he do? He, he winked. winked at him to say, I'm just joking. He just <laughs> winked at him. I saw oh, you. Why are you winking at him? Are you winking at Chaz? <laughs> <laughs> first of all, I, the first two lines I knocked out. Can I ask you a the question? First two, you should I'm, be knocked out. Boss, yeah, yeah. on the last he line. knocked him out, all right. On the last <laughs> did, I, did I write this stuff or what? <laughs> <laughs> he knocked him out, all right. <laughs> well, you don't think the first two lines no. I grabbed out? Right, I'm having no. a little problem with His this hands paragraph. hands are going. He's like, Meh. Here's, here's what, the thing. Yeah. Which paragraph? Uh, this Come one right on. here. Uh, I, I got a problem with this guy over here. Because yeah. I, I don't know Just if I heard. Just a silly line very this famous in a famous for movie. Because this is my type all right. of character. Where, where should we pick this up? Oh, is it? Where should we pick this up? I say, no, I can, you know what? Do your line again, Rich. You're doing right. the beginning, Rich, because you have, you're putting the inflection in the wrong place. What's that? You're putting the inflection. Uh, Louis Beans, I want my money. You're putting the inflection <laughs> in the wrong place, Rich. I want my money. Have you seen the movie? I've seen it many a time. He's yelling at some kid across the street. He wants his money. Yeah, yeah that's why I yell, Louis Beans. You're hyped up. You want your money. I don't, you and can't he's calming you down. You listen to me. You can't deliver to every paragraph as it's the same emotion. Yes. <laughs> at the end, you're going, you're right, John. You're always right. How do you know? Right answer all the time, Johnny. You talk like you Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen to what Chaz is saying and, yeah. and react just, to that. He just said a very profound thing to you in life. Right. You, you got this guy out of your life for $20. Who cares? Good for you. You, you made so out. So what we're saying is listen. And then you're like, listen to what he's saying. Take a moment to think. Like, now it's a revelation. Right. You've actually, you, yes. you realize this. It's a big moment. Yeah. yeah. Chaz oh, is agreeing this. with everybody. You're going to go like this. Exactly. Except Rich. You're Except right. for Rich. Chaz isn't shouting at you. He's just chatting. He's not yelling, kid. Yelling. It's like, you're not. You're, you're, you're right, John. You're call. always right, sucker. Listen to me. When Bonnie gives you a pep talk after you bomb, right? You never see. Right there, you go, you're right. Me. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's right. what the right, let's, let's start again. Let's try it again. Because Ross has a hunk here, and, and I, I think that he'll yeah. be better this We're time. We're running out of show, unfortunately. Go ahead. Let's go. All right. All right. Here we go. go ahead. Louie, beans. I want my money. <laughs> Beans, you can't dodge me forever. See, what are you doing? Come on, what are you yelling about? John, I got a problem with this guy over here. Louis Beans, this guy owes me 20, and it's been two weeks now, and every time he sees me, he keeps dodging me, John. Should I crack him one or what? Listen, see, Seth, come on. Sometimes violence is not the answer. Is he a good friend of yours or not? Nah, John, I don't even like him. Well, there's your answer right there. Look at it this way. It costs you $20 to get rid of him. He's never going to ask you for money again. He's never going to bother you again. He's out of your life for $20. Come on, you got off cheap. Uh, you're right, John. You're always right. How do you know How do you know the right answer all the time, Johnny? Well, I try to keep my eyes and ears open all the time, and I read. You read? Yeah, I read. Come on. Come on, let's go to Mario's next door and get something to eat. What do you read? You know, I read things. You know, I read uh, philosophy. Philosophy? You mean philosophy? Come on, John. Sure, you ever hear Machiavelli? Who? Come on, Nick Machiavelli. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I only wish Boss had to say that word. Wait, who? Yeah. Wait, you're Who's the, Mark you're, Velli? Wait, you're saying, <laughs> that, that would be that would be more like a real life uh, uh, thing with him. Like, <laughs> hey man, don't 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 argue with the guy for twenty dollars. Who? 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 What? 
That's all Boston ever say is worth with Chubby Winnie. No, he's, what? He's, he's doing a good job. You don't think that was better? No, that was better. Oh, that was better. It was better. Okay. I guarantee we do it one more time. I knock it off. No, no, no. It's over. It's over. <laughs> next, 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 yeah. Sash threw in the towel on his own work. <laughs> That's wonderful, Rich. And, and you were better, except when you didn't know the guy. I got a problem with this guy over here. Louis Beans? <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that. Shut up. Yes, you did. You scared Chaz on who? He actually jumped. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 Louis like, Beans? no animals Ooh. in this picture. <laughs> There's an owl. And uh, if you want to see a Bronx Tale, we got a plug. Uh, if you want to see a Bronx Tale done properly. Oh, my God, yeah. It, 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 it's a one person. It really is a, a, a work of art, man. It, it's at the Walter Kerr Theater here in New York on West 48th Street. The run has been extended, and it ends February the 24th. Uh, for tickets, 212-239-6900. Uh, it's telecharge.com, and you get to watch Chaz I've, alone on stage for 90 minutes. People have been raving about this, well, we too. Went. I know so many people that have gone to see it, and nothing but uh, raves. Uh, Amazing I, work. I, I've never seen that. a faster standing ovation in my life. Yeah, People got up immediately, and, and you were hilarious. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, it's hilarious on that stage. 212-239-6200. Two, uh, I have it wrong on the sheet here. Uh, 6200. Yep. It, it, it was amazing, and it was an hour and a half. You never once feel like you want to get no. up and go to the bathroom. It's Maybe you should go great. see it, Rich. One hour, yeah. Maybe you should go see it. Come on, yeah. see it. Come and go see, see it. it 17 <laughs> times. <laughs> oh, you're the worst actor I've ever seen. Yeah, but I'm a stand-up comic. So it's am a, I, but I can and, act. Yeah, but you know what? I'm a brilliant stand-up comic. No, let's not get carried away. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't know, I'm looking. Exactly. Hey, Rich. A gay nim. Right. How, how nervous were you, Rich? When you saw Chaz uh, come through that door. Uh, uh, a little nervous. <laughs> Opie, Opie, I was <laughs> nervous. A little I was nervous. nervous. Yeah, we didn't tell you guys either. I saw We I wanted this to be a big like, surprise. Okay. Here's the thing. And we appreciate Chaz playing along, by the way. We weren't even sure he was going to do this Chaz for us, didn't know. Please. I just went and asked him in the green room if he would do it. He's like, yeah. And, uh, you know. That's pretty cool, We wanted man. the committee. He's going to uh, plug a Bronx tail. I'm like, what better way than to see it done half right? And half horrendously. So if you want to see it done all right, uh, you're going to go check it out. I really, I'm not even just raving because you're here, man. It really was a moving, unbelievably uh, a great piece of work. I appreciate that, guys. Thanks a lot. Now, Rich, go audition oh. for a uh, revival of Newsies. <laughs> <laughs> extra, extra. All right. Uh, we're running out of show, okay, unfortunately. I have, a, I have a pilot coming. Thanks a lot, fellas. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, amazing. You're not leaving, are you? Thank no, you so all much. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, all, we're, well, we're, we're, we're leaving here. Time is ticking. <laughs> uh, Daniela. Daniela, too, she is uh, in yes. uh, this month's uh, uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. Oh, God, do I fit. F fantastic. And we got, uh, <laughs> Jimmy, you. we got directdaniela.com, right? Yeah, the this is a uh, website with Taco Bell where you can be my photographer. Really? Oh, wow. wow. Directdaniela.com. Taco That's Bell it. and you? That sounds good to me. Yeah, I think I, I th something together with Taco we Bell. We should be able to take pictures of you. Yeah. You lose the sweater, and we'll do a little uh, photo shoot. <laughs> 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 yeah, was that funny, Danielle? I love it. That was, was that funny that with was Rich Voss and Chaz? Amazing. So that was good, right? Great. All right, everyone's just uh, talking to Chaz now. We should get <laughs> yeah, out of here. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah we're, now we're all just getting up and gushing. Thank you to the great Chaz Palm and Terry uh, for, for, for going along with this uh, Bronx Tale at the Walter Kerr Theater. The uh, run ends February 24th. Uh, see it as it was originally designed to be seen as a one-man play, man. It really is beautiful. Absolutely. And directdaniella.com. She's just stunning. Beautiful. Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue that comes out today. Yeah. I like when you stretch, by the way. That's very... Uh... It's cute, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any other plugs, Rich? What do you got, man? Uh, this weekend, uh, Catch a Rising Star in Rhode Island. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And also Friday night, uh, my new half an hour Comedy Central special. Hey, that's really hey. cool. And then we got Jimmy in uh, San Francisco uh, this Cobb's weekend. Comedy Club, yes. And Patrice, what are you promoting? I'm at Stand Up New York all weekend. Uh, special Valentine's Day shows. shows. Oh, look at you. Yes, sir. And Bobby? Uh, Cleveland, uh, February Improv. 20th. The Cleveland Improv, February 20th to the 24th. Uh, Next weekend, basically. Yeah. Starting Next on... Wait, the 20th? Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I'm doing oh, you Wednesday, are doing to, uh, Wednesday to Sunday, so... Wow, that's, that's cool. Tickets now. All right, we're heading over to XM... Uh, Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening to us. We appreciate it. Have a great day. That's one for the ages. What a classic moment right yeah. there. I was telling the, the guys on the way over that the funniest moment on the show, though, I don't even know if the listeners appreciated it. I hope so. I think the people that have been with us for a long time know. Uh, when Daniela, the, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, came in, and she said she was from Rio. When these guys jumped 
right into talking in Portuguese. That was the funniest moment on the fucking show. Because yeah. they were talking hooker talk with an 11. <laughs> it was the only <laughs> Sports Illustrated. It's, it was only it's hooker it's talk. All, all hooker talk. All hooker questions. Now, I thought now, you were talking Brazilian. What kind, was, of shit, what, what kind of shit Portuguese. were you saying? That was the How funniest moment on the show. How much? How old are you? How much it costs? That's too expensive. Hello. What hello? favela are you from? Hosinha or Vidigal? Yeah. What is that? Like the, the slums? That's the pride, the slums. And right. We, hooker, we was asking city. a hooker question. Helpy. That, I, I don't even Monte know if people Carlo, in Monte Carlo. Mia, Mia Pataka. She, she pretended like she didn't know, but girls from Rio who aren't hookers. Oh. Hate hookers. <laughs> oh shit! That's There's why that was them. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, these guys didn't even like. There wasn't even a space between her saying Rio de, de Janeiro and you guys jumping. No, they right. just went off. Oh, that was really funny. Tutu yeah. Ben, baby, you have to know. You have to know the most important one. Right when she's done, Janada, thank you. <laughs> oh no! Thank and then Vi, Vi is go. Vi. Yeah. And, then, nice and then Patrice goes. Be. I was going to take oh, a yeah. Sharpie and write 150 Thanks. on her palm. What's that about? You'd write a finger and you write oh, with what, how much yeah. in, in your, on your, with your finger on her palm. Like it's sad. And you just write, she goes two and you go, mm mm. And then you just write 150 on her palm. And then she takes an eraser, which is her other finger, and erases that. <laughs> That's a computer in Brazil. And then you go, okay. <laughs> then you go one, 170 and then she goes, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then oh. the Sheraton LeBlanc, that's where we stayed. <laughs> well, the Othon. What was that wow. place? The Monte Carlo, was that what it was called? The one with the lockers? And stuff? Are you staying in a apartmenta or hotel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a hotel. Oh. Hotel. That was the... <laughs> apartmenta <Yeah>. or hotel? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you can, can you give those girls, like, your, your, your little sundries in the bathroom, the free little soaps? Oh, it's like it's like taking them shopping. <laughs> I saw a guy with little shampoos. Fucking guy. The was... last time I went, I went with my girl, which was the second favorite time ever. The first favorite was when we all went. The first we time was all there. Jason and him. It was one when Norton was so was so funny. <laughs> It was the funniest time. I, I laughed harder than I ever laughed in my life. It was just great time. That was a great day. Oh, with Evan, that, it was me, you, Evan, right. uh, Jason, uh, I want to say Bobby and yeah. Richard. Uh, Voss is there. And, and no, no, no. Voss, Bobby Voss, Voss wasn't there. Voss's time, I hate to say it, the first, that was the first time, yeah. but Voss wasn't, because Voss hated it. And Voss, well, Voss, Voss wasn't doing what we were doing. He was, he was like... Boston. Are there any golf courses? Yeah, around he, wasn't, here? he wasn't fun. He's not a he's not a fun um, guy like that. I, I got to stop like that. I got to stop the show because they're acknowledging it. It has to be acknowledged. Uh, new funniest moment. Voss said, "I thought you were speaking Brazilian." Yeah, after I, I said there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's <laughs> know it better. <laughs> it's like a dog chewing when, I, like when I said they were speaking Portuguese, you said I thought they were speaking <laughs> Brazilian. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we got that, so yeah. we gotta stop the show and acknowledge that because <laughs> people cannot believe no, you said that. Was was there, that's <laughs> You just weren't fun on that level. I was on that level. On that level. You yeah. Know, yeah. Filthy guy we smashed hookers. Norton because he wouldn't come out until the sun went down. Remember he would show. Oh, he We'd and then all... Norton was falling in love. That was the greatest part. Oh, really? Like, he got English. dumped by a hooker, <laughs> <laughs> and we laughed at him uh, so like a hooker give her money back. I know. <laughs> she said. She said you look like he, a cross he... between Sinead O'Connor, Sinead O'Connor, <laughs> Sinead. Yeah. D, it was leaving nothing. out you ummy. <laughs> she gave Norton an extra. <laughs> and <laughs> girls who don't do it, she that that model was annoyed. Yeah. That we would do. She would. She just knows how to be. Oh, of course. Yes, she's she got it. Was annoyed yeah. when we went into Have hooker toys. No, we're, we're like typical guys too. Cause we suck because she's like an eleven. She's in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. As soon as we sat down here before we went on the air, we're like, you know what? She wasn't that great. Uh, she's she's not that nothing she's okay. for me. We're like, her, no. when she sat down, no. her ass kind of pushed out a little too much. Yeah. She had. Uh, <laughs> uh, she was wearing <laughs> pants <laughs> that that like I'm her ass you, didn't look good at all. Sweet. It looks, <laughs> but, but there was bad pants. <laughs> Listen, she models swimsuits. Yes. She's used to being almost naked. She had a beautiful kissable face that's why i liked her, her face was very pretty her outfit, very sweet. i don't Stop. know she she's had those, all right she had the boots she looked like she just got like done from a horse yeah, race she yeah it was like, like she was in riding gear yeah. i thought she I was know. okay for i she Think. didn't and, and put it this way not that she wasn't beautiful she just didn't do anything that little piece of garbage that comes in here and, and shows christ shows some of her garbage. cheek she does it more for me more than than that girl Who? Did she the little brazilian thing that Oh, uh, we'll come in here from time to time. She hasn't been here in a while. Oh my yeah, God. But who, Master Poe? <laughs> uh, 
No, she, she didn't do anything. She, she, she goes, a, food, all right? yeah. she goes on Pal Talk, with Patrice. <laughs> huh? You don't see her on Pal Talk, the little Brazilian uh, girl that comes in here? I never. I don't know what. I don't see her. Yeah, no. she's on there sometimes. She, she did something herself. bad. I, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like like I'm crazy, but it's like a friend of mine. We always go, eh, she, she, ugh, and he goes, "Would you fuck it?" I go, "That has nothing to do with it." <laughs> 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 I mean, it has nothing to do with it. But yeah. she was. Wait, she just her, was. Wait, so what was wrong with that girl then? then? She didn't have a good ass. She didn't have a good ass. She was. She was a bore. She was all right. You, yeah. She could barely speak English. Let me tell you, she's gonna be but a bore. But she was a bore. No, no, no. She Go was a bore. Portuguese she was a bore radio. attitude. I thought she had a great little ass, but the pants. Because yeah. there was a couple of places where she no. was standing with a. St the pants were bad, but if, if she wore something that was uh, highlighting her little tight ass, she has a small little butt, it's, man. Because she's a hilarious a model. A combined, See, we don't make a ten, and we're just trashing this lady. A big <laughs> actor. That's like what me, guys do. Myself. You got to pick them apart. It's the, what, the girls at the cellar last night. There were two girls there that were. She's from Brazil. That blonde last. Night, you blind. saw her in a big loose sweater. Can you imagine her in a fucking sexy little F? You trying to you show You don't have off? to imagine. Where's the fucking magazine? Oh, I don't know what You that can language. look and see. Where's my I've seen better issue? girls in a Rocco Sinfredi. Where's um, the uh, magazine? Oh, yeah. Do we have one? Uh, she, yeah, nasty. That's it, nasty. She doesn't have good pictures. If you find one, open up the page and see what she looks she, like in a bikini. Oh, uh, she's amazing in the magazine, but she didn't get good placements. She's she's yeah. in between like a car ad and like <laughs> cologne. She's some, not the know, cover girl. girl huh? She's not in the main section where it's like one model after another. She's kind of tucked in the middle. Section. I want some of her photograph better than they look. Too. I wonder if the fucking car ads have a say on who they want to be next to because uh, mm. the hot chick people will look at her longer. So we want to yeah, ad right there. The whole page is her. Every second. Is that her? That whole thing is her? Daniela, let me see. Oh, wow. We didn't see those uh, earlier. All right. They, First thing, they don't have an ass shot. No. They, they didn't, don't have an ass shot, which leads me to believe that's not her strong suit. It's very small. She's very small. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, no, no. Uh, let me see. Uh, the, the, no, she's very... I don't know. I'm not digging it. This picture's nice. She's not showing anything, and, and her face is kind of cute, but... The one on the cover is ten times nah. better. The one on the cover that's is... That's her. Well, that's why she's on the cover. She's, she's on, on the, the cover, cover, you moron. I said the one cover. on the cover no, is... Not not it's not her. We're not going to get the one from the cover. Look at us. I think <laughs> yeah, she's the a cover girl. girl. <laughs> we have a chance with an inside one. Yeah. So. Look yeah, at how we get, nice... Yeah. We they gave us the ugly one. Are you guys out of your mind? Look at how nice that fucking fat teardrop titty is. Can I say that? That fucking beautiful thought. She's just a beautiful girl. I mean... She's not filthy. No so one's saying she's not, she's not beautiful. We're just talking about on the level of a yeah. beautiful woman. Yeah, if you saw her at that, in I think Brazil, she's a low-level beautiful woman. Yeah, they gave <laughs> low us the low-level beautiful. They gave us the ugly one out of the crop. But if you ugly saw her, one. Patrice, well, one if of you them saw has her to be officially in, ugly in, in that category. Yeah, yeah. If you saw her in Brazil, walk into Club Help, it'd be like we'd be all no, we wouldn't. Clean. No, yeah. we wouldn't. I just, right. wouldn't. Bobby wouldn't even put hey, his sandwich down. Hey, I, uh, oh shit! The guys pulled the clip. Listen, I, I want to replay because it's worth it. So this uh, s uh, swimsuit model comes in, and she says she's from Rio, and these guys just start in with their hooker talk. Listen again. Where in Brazil are you from? I'm from Rio de Janeiro. No, oh, oh, what's up? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh. Mia Pataka, baby. Mia Pataka. Oh. Help me. Help me. Hey. hey. Mami Mami do bad. Tuto bad. Cuantos anos. Yes. <laughs> no. Cuanto custo muito caro. No come to me atos. Obrigado. 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 Genada. 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 Desculpe, por favor. Bobby, uh, Brazil. Bobby, Sher no USA. <laughs> Sher Tone LeBlanc, please. <laughs> that's that's the cab driver. Cab driver. Uh, you <laughs> miss a beat. <laughs> and, and she knew it was hooker talk, because that's all you could say with hooker, uh, hooker talk. I was wondering, because she barely said anything. She was just kind of sitting there uncomfortably listening to you guys. She, yeah. As soon as she heard help, she, you know. Uh, Monte that's, Carlo. That's, that's the big club, that's right? That's a fucking whorehouse. Everybody you knows. go all the way to Brazil <laughs> for helping? What else? The exactly. seashells, bitch? What, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> the educational opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> chick learn how to get my throat cut rice? for $3? <laughs> what the fuck gets on an 11-hour oh. flight? What the hell was that? That's Voss is dead Voss inside. Is acting again. That's Thank his you. kidney that just died. <laughs> well, what's hearing. wrong with her ass? It's nothing wrong with no, it. But I'm saying, like, look, there's her ass right there. It's like so That's wild. her? Yeah. It's She's the one that, juicy rug. that was here. That's, yeah. All right, yeah. let me see. I didn't, I didn't see. Oh, yeah. Show, they, show they, my, they didn't show give me, they gave me one page. Juicy rump. Pass it around. Show that juicy rump. Uh, Voss's <laughs> sister is what? Your size of a baseball we're up to? Yeah. Jesus. You're getting it uh, removed soon or what? Yeah, hopefully. I'm waiting to, Attach to, to the clinic to sign it. 
<laughs> well, I liked it. Oh, Thanks, Bob. I really did. Uh, and Patrice was asking uh, earlier, off mic, if Roger Clemens did the roids. Of course he did at this point. you got to think he was on the, on the juice. His wife was on the juice, and you know what? I think he's the type of father, too. He wants his sons in the major leagues. I think that his sons were probably on the juice already, too. Why would his wife be on it? What, is she an athlete, too? She was in one of these uh, swimsuit issues, and she wanted to look good. So, supposedly, according to this Brian McNamee, uh, they popped some juice in her to make her look better. How he quick is not, does it he's work? Going down, he's going down kicking and screaming. He Clemens? is not yep. going out. He's just, Wouldn't he try to bury this and do all these he press doesn't conferences do it, dude. and stuff? What sucks it, is, uh, the Hall of Fame. What sucks is Pettit, head. Pettit agreeing with everything uh, McNamee said. That's bad. Because, because he's a Christian. He can't yeah, lie. He, loved, well, he doesn't want to under oath either. You can't lie in a fucking yeah. subpoena, man. So yeah. but, No, he could be uh, brought up on perjury. Clemens is looking Clemens. like... Um, uh, I know, I'm looking at him over there. He's got a huge, he's giant like Christopher head. Christopher Reeves. Yes, there. that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Christopher Reeves before he started rotting away. Like when, he, when they first put him in the chair. <laughs> but it, the, the sports cast, is, this is the, the, the one thing that makes me go, okay, his, it, the convincing argument. Because I'm sitting there going, if somebody accuses me of something, I say I didn't do it. You know, I'm going to fight if I didn't. But people go, nobody gets better at 40. Right. Like, that is an <laughs> argument that just go, you go, wow, no one statistically gets better at 40. No. No one continues physically to compete with 20-year-olds at the age of You can of survive, and you can have a spark uh, of your greatness. And like you said, having gotten better, yeah. it just doesn't happen. No, like but Nolan Cy Ryan. Cy Young's at 39. Yeah. Cy Young, the best yeah. pitchers. You got that Johan Santana motherfucker. You got all these Puerto Ricans. Who just throw 150 miles an hour, <laughs> and Clemens is better than all of them? Yeah, how does that work? At 40. Like, you just don't get better well, at no, anything at and, 40. And he comes in, like, no. half a year, doesn't even have any, doesn't train anything like the other guys, comes in and just starts pitching lights out. Just right out. Yep. Boom. A month, and then he's in, and then he's pitching uh, 100 miles an hour. Who's but what's the hope? proof? How are they going to have proof? It's he said, But that's know. just it. We're arguing well, the point. Well, this motherfucker saved blood in a garbage can. Yeah. <laughs> he's the worst. We're arguing the point, but shit? he is a piece of shit. He, all they got to do is deny it. To the face. All they got to do is deny They're it. They're going to test his blood. Doesn't matter. They can't even prove that they As long as they the deny side. it. They, it's not evidence that was scooped up by yeah. uh, the police department, and, and uh, it's not tainted. There's no way anything like that could hold up. The guy could say, I got it. Check yeah. it. It's got his DNA on it. It's got uh, steroids on it. But it what the fuck does that mean? And the defense is blood and put uh, stuff in it. A, a defense, of course, the defense is hard to get to say, why would you save a piece of a needle that you injected a plant yeah. with? For, why would you save that yeah. unless you planned on commercially profiting from this? Yeah. And you yeah. planned on doing something with this. Right. Oh, uh, Clemens is, yeah, he's, he's going to be all right through this whole thing. I think thing, he's going to be exonerated, but for most people going to be like, he eh. did it. He did it. Come he on. is not but going to. whatever, he even is. if he did, who gives a yeah. shit? Yeah, who cares? Do you care about steroids? Absolutely not. Oh, I think I say kids, it's an exhibition. I don't know. They're these great. People. I I love the fact they hit eight hundred foot homers now. Thank you. Yeah, but a lot and of them throw one hundred and thirty five miles an hour. A lot of them do it to heal, though. I mean, they get hurt and they need to heal quick, uh, so they'll they'll pop roids. Like UFC guys have to take some roids to heal because they get hurt all the time. And, you know, so yeah. of course you should let them. Yeah. Take roids. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm hey, what did you take, me, man? What'd you take hemorrhoids before you played? <laughs> 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 I broke my knee, man. 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 I broke my knee, dude. Uh, that song was great, wasn't it? That, song was that was the, the best. funniest thing I've <laughs> the, the greatest <laughs> sound is your moan. Mm. You, didn't, you didn't take any, any, uh, you didn't yeah. take any medicine? Uh, they gave me... Ah. <laughs> That's great. They gave me ah. what? Taco Bell and <laughs> they gave me. Uh... That's when Bobby did blow up too, man. That that fucking oh, hey, after the knee thing, that right? Fucking knee yeah, thing. Exactly. I only started working out in the last month. At my my brand new ACL from a forty year old white guy. Um, but yeah, they they just drained my knee and they gave me what's that? Um, cortisone. Cortisone. 40. That's it. That's it. Damn. Fuck. That's it. Fuck that. Bobby, if, I, if they like gave me fucking Nell Carter from Give Me a Break, yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> poor Bobby, man. I God, actually was you fat. gave Dane Cook your blood and your knee. I know, and he I that looked up motherfucker. You should be his Robin. You should be on every, and I mean Batman Robin. You should just be yeah. everywhere with that fucker. You gave your soul for that goddamn yep. show. Yep. And what do you get out of classic? It? 
Just just bad cholesterol is what you well, get out put of it. Me, he's put me in every movie he's done. The, has yeah. he? Well, he yeah, hasn't put me in the movie. I don't know. How about this? I'm in the new one coming out, and he tried to put you in his, the movie. I, I the understand. Number two. I was horrendous, and I knew I was horrendous. He oh, did boy. try. Yeah. What do you mean, at the audition? Y y y what you just did with Chaz, I really thought <laughs> it, was de it was De Niro. What did you audition for? <laughs> <laughs> when you put no. me in the movie, like Kevin Smith just put me in the yeah, movie. Yeah, you can do, the, you can do the scene. You I can got do the it. job done. I had, you know what? God, you're right about the Because the first, good luck, Chuck, they just put me in, and it was easy. It was fine. This, the next one, where you had to audition, it, it actually does make it a little, a little harder. It wasn't a good audition, because this woman was just putting me on tape. She wasn't giving me a read. Okay, well, there we go. And it's like, you know what? You fucking But it doesn't suck, fucking bitch. matter. Who the that? fuck actually books a show? Who wins a role? Yeah, you like, have to. Like, who the fuck really I think I did today. I, everybody? You I, just, yeah. it's Whoever like. goes against you in a Chris Rock show. <laughs> oh. Oh. I get it. Oh. Everybody loves Chris. Hates Chris. Oh, yeah, hey. but that's what, but that's the point. <laughs> you heard that motherfucker get on the radio and say, I got the part. You were the best. But yeah. it's like. Hey, you like his attitude. It's hard to you're hard to work with. I'm not hard to work with. Oh, really? Face. No one's ever said that. I just did, and I just we all have. Have. And every we easy to work with. You walk with me. Everybody. You walk with me for fucking four. See you how asshole. Hard you are? See, you're angry. Don't get mad. That's why you're hard to work with. You can't <laughs> <take> <laughs> white people. That's your problem. <laughs> we we can't be angry. The word you're you looking for is what? uppity. Uppity, uppity niggas. <laughs> <laughs> why why <laughs> can't I be uppity? <laughs> I've heard I him call that. Work. I think you're fun to work Shut with. Shut your mouth. Stop backtracking, yeah. you fucking Weasel. He's your friend. You disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't. It's not a producer. Just it's like I'm yelling at a show. He wouldn't put you in it. Let me calm Patrice down. He's a scary black guy. He's been coming. He's known me for 12 kidding. years. Fun. Shut up. It's not fun. <laughs> he's very funny. We tolerate him because he's hilariously funny. Yeah. But he's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are he's fun. No, he's not a fun guy. <laughs> he's, 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 he's brilliantly funny wrapped in shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's actually fun in this room? We're the worst <laughs> friends ever. I, I don't know. It's just, you know. Hey. I don't know about that. We're very honest with each other. We don't fucking soft soap things. I know exactly how you feel about most things I'm doing at any given moment. And the same with Bobby. I get honest opinions from these guys. I think we're actually really good friends. That we don't fucking we just soft soap each other. Stereotypically, we're the shittiest friends on the planet. I it's mean, just that we're not allowed to have square friends. Yes. No, we call each other out on bullshit. We <laughs> yes, save each yes. other the trouble and embarrassment no. of humiliating ourselves. We're good. In front of the we're great friends like that, but stereotypically, I mean, like you know, for birthdays, we're not we're not good Christmas. square friends. Yeah. yeah fuck for my all. wedding. Yeah. Oh, well, don't, I don't want to bring that oh, up. Why not give you a gift? Nobody. You even call me and say congratulations. Uh, I uh, I don't, well, well. don't bring up weddings. But that's oh, why. Yeah, but that's why Bobby did what he did. It's because of how we are as friends. Oh, no absolutely. one would have an internet wedding yeah. who who had good friends. Yeah, I, exactly. True, she, they'd all be there. Actually, no. I said to my yeah. girl, I go, look, this is what we're going to do. You have your family, so we're going away. No, I'm not inviting anybody because I don't want to get disappointed. We'd all come. We all would have come to your dumb wedding. Mm -hmm. No, Who's going to fly to, to Hawaii? Yeah, Hawaii's really? different, dude. But if he did it in New York, oh, yeah, New York. I'm not going to do it. He didn't yeah, want to. If, 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 if he did selfish. it where we all could just ride yeah. through the Holland Tunnel yeah. to get there, yeah. Yeah. of course we'd fucking be there. Hey, you, Bob, have your wedding on 42nd Street. Yeah. 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 Have, have, have your wedding at Caroline's that night. If you can have it at Caroline's, Have your wedding in this time zone, and maybe we'll... Oh, look who's talking fucking Saskatchewan, motherfucker. This bitch-ass nigga didn't invite nobody, and then he came back, and he won. I know he had traditional no, I wedding have, shit. He no, wanted gifts no, and bullshit. shit, but My he didn't invite me like no, a friend. But he wanted no, all the other no, friend shit. You're it, wrong. Don't don't make me get into this again. Because the wedding party we threw, I was conveniencing you guys and not making you fly you all the way there. Your giant no. cupcakes. Listen to me. He had four it wedding receptions, guys. hoping that we'd go to one. It was awful. <laughs> it was fucking awful. Did he have one in L. A. One in New York? Where well, else? Yes, but I he, had, he, had, he had That's benefit receptions. <laughs> he lost me at. I I was conveniencing you guys. His reception was a was a tax write off. Yeah, there wasn't even a cake. There was cupcakes. No, for giant cupcakes. I didn't listen. He has it at a comedy club, and he gets mad that we didn't go. I I didn't. I thought it was just a big fucking set. Okay, we paid a lot. My mistake was doing it there. My mistake. We sent out. I charged you. I paid seven, eight grand there. To eight Caroline's? grand. Oh my yeah. God, what's what? wrong? I'm not fucking lying. But here's the thing: the problem. We sent out real invitations <laughs> and had a middle at the same time. <laughs> he had to keep running in from <laughs> his own wedding. <laughs> you guys ready for your next act? You invited Norton. He was your best man, and you didn't invite anybody else. Because I didn't want you guys to, have to fly. It was in Edmonton. It was Am I not a good friend? Yes, you were a great friend. You really are. Ooh. 
Yeah. You know, and because, and you know what? And I didn't even expect him. I said, if you can't do it, that's okay. I, I said sat, that. I fucking flew. It was a nine hour flight total because of a three hour layover in Minneapolis airport. I oh. hated your guts. And I flew up. <laughs> but it was fucking shut up. This shitty part of Canada. <laughs> it was in a fucking hunting lodge. There's people with fucking blood. Was it a rest gunnings. area? Was, or something yeah, like that? That's where the wedding photos were taken. <laughs> right. Someone's fucking. Someone's blowing a Canadian trucker. And he's smiling for photos. That's, and and then someone children. is telling a story right now. <laughs> I think, I, think, I think Bobby did it the best way for how awful Wait, we are. Who, 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 who sent you a wedding all the gift? the embarrassment of having to make excuses. What? Bobby, who sent you a wedding gift and said good luck on your wedding? Yeah, you actually sent me a gift. I'll get you yes. a gift. I'm but sorry. The, but the thing is, the way you sent me a yeah. gift was a little... Con you, it was no. a little shitty, too. No, well, no I had a second. Car. Let me just say Wait, it. I'll tell you. No, I'll tell okay, you. And then I'll, I'll tell you. the story. Right, let me tell you. All right. He, had a, he got me a card and put $100 in it. 200 was it two? Two hundred, okay. All right, I just want right. to see if you remember. Maybe you just you. stopped to get some. Can we get like some sunny black on his wedding? A friend <laughs> so, of ours. So he, he he gave me a card. We, we, we were supposed <laughs> to do this gig together over at uh, the Hudson. Or the, I think it's was it the no, the Beacon. Yeah, that the beacon. Dennis Leary thing. Sure. Yeah. I was making a movie with uh, Ricky Gervais, whatever, over on the East Side. So I had to. I didn't know if they let me out, so I I had to cancel. Okay. Why so you could he, have been in two places hang on at one once. Second, hang on one second. So then, at the last minute, they released us. So I, I jumped in the cab, ran across town, just to show up to see if I could get there. I didn't know he had a gift for me. He was all nervous. He's like, "Listen, I got to tell you something. I, I brought you a gift." So what happened when he found out when I, I wasn't on the show, I canceled. He opened the card. All right, let me explain took, it. Took the money out and put it back in his pocket. Okay. And so he gave. He had to put the money back in. Gave me a card that he ripped open. <laughs> All right, let me finish. He, ripped, he could just leave the two hundred in there. He had okay. to have it in his pocket. Okay. Now, but wait a second. Here's the thing. Here's the I thing. I had the course. card. Yeah. I had the card. Right. And I had a check <laughs> written out to Bobby at home. Right. I forgot the check. <laughs> right. Okay. I forgot. So I said, All right, I'll put two hundred cash right. in. Right. When he gets here, I'll give him that. Right. They said he wasn't coming. Right. So I opened the card and put the two hundred back in my pocket and when. I saw him. I was going to give him the check. No big deal. All of a sudden, he walks in. All right, so I I just put it back in the I, card I again. Give you, so, I did give you credit. Right. He really and, he bought me a card. But I have to say, and I would have to say that your wife, yeah, I was like me too. I mean, your you girl kind of, you know, hey, it's your mother's birthday. You should, all right, all right. I didn't even know. You know, you maybe you should give him a card. You no, know, but I I said I'm getting Bobby. And right before you got married, yeah. I left you a message. Yeah, Good you luck, did. You did. because. I, I'm a classy guy when you're it comes very to that. You're not guy. classy. Very classy. Classy with the ripped open out, envelope and the 200 taken out. Exactly. <clears throat> That's I a did class send move, out invitations right. to everybody. I did make it easy. If you want to see it, you can. If you don't, that you is don't. a genius. That thing way, that he did, so you could watch it for people like us, right. like for what we are. But not one yeah. of you, I couldn't get Not one of you That's called me or sent me a fucking email. Because we don't <laughs> fucking care. I didn't That's, want a gift. But you knew that, Bobby. Like, no, I wasn't even like Voss. I didn't want a gift. I didn't invite you to a yeah. party saying bring shit. And neither did I. Not even. You just wanted an acknowledgement from one of your even, friends that you were getting you married. Not even a fucking. Dude, congratulations. Everybody in the circle you. You did. is a self-centered piece of God. You're right. He didn't. I, 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 I did. Bobby, Bobby I because he's been going <laughs> to psychologists, <laughs> yeah. is is becoming the most... Ugh, like that's frightening. M most like trying to be a regular guy friend. He's becoming the most deluded into thinking he's not shit. Every time Bobby talks, he thinks he's in group therapy. My right my sp my my therapist actually said that I don't have friends. You don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't have a fucking. Yeah. You know, Gavin. Gavin <laughs> had last year. Gavin had to had to actually learn how to be a fucked up person. We, because I can go like this. This is how you can go in this this whole fucking circle. Yeah. Not talk to each other for six months, right? <laughs> yeah. Not see each other. Yeah. Not talk nothing, and then bump into somebody and go, "What are you doing, stupid?" Like, yeah. that's that's our relationship. Yeah, not yeah. like where you been for half a year. No, that's true. Nothing. Yeah, but we're used, used to fucking being that. on the road. Like I'm yeah. used to. Where yeah. are you gonna be? I'll be in San Francisco yeah. this weekend. You're gonna be in Rhode Island. Yeah. We're used to all of a sudden. Hey, Gavin how couldn't you, understand you, how you could yeah. not yeah. talk yeah, but to Patrice, you're a not, friend. You're not the kind every of, day. You wait, every day. Yeah, but Gavin like, would show. Or, you know your yeah, buddy. Yeah. Like, hey, what you doing? Like, I don't even know how. Like, what do friends do? <laughs> he has no clue like, what do about you do? friendships. What the fuck they, they do you do with a friend? I don't talk to my neighbors. When they try to talk, you just go, 
What the fuck? You know what you, you do, do with, 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 with friends? And I only know from, like, years ago, old high school friends that, you know, kind of carried over into the working world. You just pretty much hang out and drink. That's like the only thing you can really do with your friends. No, you can give them a ride somewhere and do yeah. something. What? Like, that's, inconvenient. Them, help them, that's inconvenient. That's inconvenient. Help them move. I'm no, saying. Fucking no fucking way. Are you I'm insane? Saying, can I move? Oh, yep. Bobby moved. Yep. Um, Norman moved. I moved. I moved. <laughs> not once. Yet, not once did I think Hell about no. calling not any yet. of them to help me do nope. shit. And you know who does that? Unfunny comics. Yeah, help help each funny other. comics will help each other. And hey, we'll all come yeah. over. They'll have a party. Yeah, give One massages. girl comic will... Go fuck Did you yourself. even think of asking anybody help finger. you move a fucking couch? Well, hell no. no. Hell no. I can I, explain, by the way, why we no. are this way with each other. One of the reasons is because a lot of times friends use each other to divert from the awfulness of their life. We like our lives. I love what I do. I'm here for five hours a day. We're all on the road doing gigs, having fun. We all know the other guys are pretty much doing fucking acting, having fun. It's like we don't need to divert from our lives, and all of our friends are involved in our work lives. So yeah, but that, I mean, that is, that's kids. elaborate you know that what he said. No, I yeah. got three it's, kids. You really can't compare that to, dude, can you help me move this couch? No, yeah, yeah. I have nobody to help me move a couch. See, I have an excuse. I have three kids. Know. Hey, Norton, um, what you doing, buddy? Uh, listen, why, and then do don't do? start with what you're doing first, because then it's like you're not going to get an answer. Uh -huh. Like, hey, Bob, what you doing? What? What? What's uh? What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, what why? Why? Hey, why uh, what's going on? What are you doing? Why well, need you to help me move this couch? Nah, I'm on the moon, dude. <laughs> no, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, I hold am on, the moon. On. I gotta stop right here. We got Bob Saget uh, on the line. Bob, hey. Hey, how you doing? Pretty hey, good. What's you got going on? Uh, Patrice O'Neill, of course, Jim Norton, Bob Kelly, and Rich Voss in studio today. Oh man, I miss you guys. I wish I was there because it's snowing, right? Yeah. Uh, just yes. Now it's uh, just a messy rain. Rain. That's what yeah. I want. Yeah. You I have you have real friends, Bob. What? You have real, true, like, you have any friends left from, like, real life or is it all comedy friends? Uh, no, no, I, real life, but, but not as many as I used to have. When I moved to Hollywood from a, a single apartment in Palms to Hollywood, my, my moving guy, because I worked at the comedy store in L.A., was Yaakov Smirnov. Do you have do you have any do you have anybody that will help uh, you move a couch? The unfunny comic thing. He helped me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right in Branson, Missouri, now. Right now, Bob, do you have anybody that you can go do? Come over and help me just move this this dresser. I don't want them coming over. <laughs> hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. I don't have anybody over. Exactly. I'll make my oldest daughter do it. Throw her back out. That'll cost me ten grand. <laughs> Bob, who? This is Voss. Who's the biggest actor you've ever done a scene with? Um. The biggest actor or actress well, a movie you, say. I, I guess for me when I did farce of the penguins Samuel Jackson was probably yeah and prior he did fucking critical oh, condition. what the hell was I saying yeah Richard Pryor yeah, yeah. Did a movie with so that backfired saying, Rich oh, so. me Rich I'm a fucking uh, idiot Bob let me explain what's going on Rich uh, did a little scene with Chaz Palminteri today so he was trying to like great. brag to you and and you just got squashed great. I know <laughs> and Bob Rich. great is not the operative word uh, it was it was, was Voss and Chaz, yeah. and uh, it was fun to watch Chaz work, and it was fun to watch Rich. Yeah, we set up Rich badly today. He thought he was doing a scene with uh, Jim Norton, and all of a sudden uh, Chaz walked in. Did Chaz uh, give you any respect? He's such a nice guy, right? He, he was, was a great awesome. guy. He was great. He, he quit the business. After, after we read, he quit the business. That's how bad I He's was. He's actually rewriting a Bronx tale to be shouted. So it's just the way Rich did it. <laughs> all in one breath, too. You take yeah. one breath at the beginning. That was hysterical. Breathe. What are you doing? I want to see that thing. Did you guys go see that? Yeah, it was amazing. He's actually just extended. Uh, it's funny you say that because uh, I did see it. It was amazing. He extended till February twenty fourth at the uh, the uh, Walter Kerr Theater here in New York. It really is amazing, man. Yep. Right now, now, Rich, are you going to get tickets to it, or do you have to pay for them? You're not close with him now, right? Oh, we're buddies. Yeah, we're going to go out. Oh yeah. You should go, boss. Then come back and give a report. I will. Not during the weekend. A review. I will. Not during the I weekend. I didn't get it. I'm a comic. I understand our schedules. <laughs> I know. No, wait, New Year's Eve go. <laughs> right. Uh, how's your baby? Great. Thank you. She's getting big. Really? Yeah. How big? No, that's not nice. Never mind. She's uh, she's beautiful. Really? Yeah. And ridiculously. Yeah. Uh, she's a right. Yeah. She's beautiful. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, I'm kidding. She's, she's beautiful. Her. But she's named after a what? A uh, 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 Hispanic queen or Hispanic something? Hispanic queen. Reina. Reina. Yeah. Oh, Why, Reina. Daddy? He thought he was picking out a Jewish name, and he picked Reina. out I named a wrong. Hispanic queen. I remember on the tour, you put a big picture of her up there on the, on the screen on the Diamond Vision. She looked very, very cute. Yeah, yeah. she's actually going to run the Latin Kings when she grows up. What a... Are you scared?
here and having a, a, a daughter? This is my third one. Oh, so you don't really care. His yeah. other two, yeah, really uh, hot, right? What do you mean, right? You hit on him for an hour right, straight. Rich, <laughs> oh, wow. I forgot Anthony, about he that. Goes, Anthony goes, right. He tried to get her number. No, Jesus no, Christ. I didn't I try. I got it. Jesus. Yeah. Voss is do <laughs> But I was just I, to piss you off. I never meant any ill will. I know when they were will. little girls, dude. The, the last time, the, 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 the tour, yeah. his daughters came in. I had to look... Oh, here we go. Uh, the other way on the wall. I did. I was like, "Holy shit!" Voss's daughters turned into like some yeah. beautiful girls. Uh -huh. This is the young one. Yeah, your uh, your oldest daughter is very. Uh, I remember. The thing is, like, Voss wouldn't mind if one of his friends, like, if I dated one of his daughters, he'd probably at first be weird about it. But he knows that I know them a long time. And yeah, nice. and he wouldn't do it because they don't have cocks. So why would Norton date them? You can't hit on your friend's kid unless she's so hot you can't help it. Right, or mm -hmm. unless she's too young to tell. Or unless you're shimmel. Oh, <laughs> but you don't want to get that shit on YouTube either because then you can ruin your life with your next guy's daughter that you go with. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I don't know. I got nothing. Pop Saget. <laughs> Every time I turn on the TV, you're on it. I mean, you're getting. I know. Just, it's just You'd ridiculous. Think I'd somebody, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's, it's really <laughs> ridiculous. But you're uh, promoting one versus one hundred, right? Yeah, they tell me to do that, and why not? You like that show. You've been nice to it. Absolutely, I like it. I DVR it every week. It's a Did it's a great show. Huh? We had a live monkey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Then he got one right, and then he got one wrong, and then shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> shit himself, and they had to get him out of there quick because there was shit in one of the mob <laughs> And you guys changed it up just a little bit to make it more interesting. And yeah, uh, and the guy won a million bucks on the first one, which I thought was I, good. I did not see that episode. Yeah, they'll rerun it. They, we only did eight of them because it was the pre-writer strike, and now that the thing's uh, I, back and running, they can... I just don't understand why they're throwing it on a Friday night, man. they got to move you up. Nah, this is one versus one hundred. Yeah, it's a great show. I, I like. I I can't watch the Howie Mandel one. It, I don't. It just doesn't do I, I it like, for me. But that one versus one hundred, I love, man. I, I, I like Deal or No Deal too, too. But I don't get it. But you know, I don't get it. It's called human greed. On my show, like spokesmodels, and I I actually killed it because I just figured I'd fuck up and ruin my career. <laughs> well, you want to get spokesmodels that are really fat, and then every right. week you, you reference them like some kind of an animal. <laughs> You make him stand by a watering hole. They never explain it. The yeah, fucking they down with a briefcase. They open it. It's like the head from Seven. One, <laughs> one versus one hundred chubbies. You should just <laughs> just have them all come out. They should do that. It should just be overweight, non-attractive spokesmodels. Absolutely. I would watch that every week. Could you imagine, like Hagar comes out? Right. Girls that just look like Griselda and shit. Hey Bob, you gonna vote for Obama? Well, I don't usually talk about my vote. I already uh, did it in, but uh, yeah, I, I think I think so. That's the Where Hollywood thing at? to do, right? Oh yeah, uh, you got two Obamas and you got one McCain. Figure it out. <laughs> right. No Figure Hillarys out. in the room. No Hillarys. Right. Uh, no, any Hillarys no. in the room? Any, anybody voting for Hillary? I Anyone? May. No. <laughs> <laughs> you may get out of here. Well, I haven't gotten over Patrice uh, Obama. I've never gotten over the Amy Don't give a shit. Of course. Oh, the what, Bob? The Amy of Fisher course. video that you made me watch. I, I have not gotten over that yet. Well, oh, her boyfriend, her husband's uh, fucking Lou's red dick. Yeah, oh, Lou's yeah, great. The guy with a <laughs> dog leg cock to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, would you vote for Obama if he was white? No. No. Okay. He's McCain. got a complete lack of experience. I wouldn't vote for him if he was white. If he's black, I might. Yeah, he's an empty suit. I wish we had an American Indian Cult in there. personality. The gaming casino is the issue. That's all he is. He's a rock star. <laughs> that was a good line. He's fucking Bob. Lenny Kravitz. Put Lenny Kravitz in, in where, oh, where fucking Obama crazy. is, and you get you the same response. You just boiled him down to fucking Lenny, Lenny Kravitz. Kravitz. He's yeah. a fucking rock star. He's a cult of personality. The guy's just a fucking... Uh, that was the only uh, he goes and gives speeches. People of. fucking start screaming, snapping pictures. Girls are throwing themselves at him. So, he's a fucking rock we, star. Can we just have four... They, 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 none of them know what the fuck he stands for. Let's have four years of that. Okay. Why not? I'm not, I'm not saying... Is the country going to fall flat? Did I say let's not do that? You I did. said don't bullshit me as to his fucking motives. Easy, and, racist. And, and, Easy. and other people that are voting for his motives, they don't know what the fuck he's about. They just love the guy because he's fucking... Uh, what, but LeVar do you Burton. know what anybody... This <laughs> motherfucker. You call him the blind guy from Star Trek? <laughs> we just call air him cleaner on his face. Hey, nigga. <laughs> 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 What's McCain stand for, really? McCain? Kane is a moderate fucking uh, yeah, Republican. Yes, yeah, right. No, you just didn't that. say shit though. Like, yeah, like, 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 like what? You, Obama's a fucking. He's not going to tax Democrat. the shit out of me uh, like Obama would. 
uh, not uh, trying to get this fucking socialist commie fucking Why don't fucking, you take some of your extra uh, money and help the fucking I'd country. love to take extra money. I don't have extra. I have enough for some. me. The ex-wife took really? some. Well, you know, that, but... Also, uh, tax, I, I get taxed up the ass you already. You elephant ivory and I want tusk more, bathroom. I want more fucking taxes. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want. Oh, Obama. Look, I'm not taxed enough. Could you take more out so you could do these fucking socialist commie programs? Oh, Go yeah. fuck you yourself. Don't want, you I want, love you don't want goddamn health care for everybody, Anthony? Oh, fuck how? no. Why would I? What privilege? Well, just because you're an American, where does it say you have the privilege to, to fucking, fucking have health care? To privilege no, to live. this country is so great because some people make it to the top and some people get fucking shit on. That's the way this fucking but place works. do you works. think this is Stalinist? You want to go to the Soviet Union? Is it no! Stalinist oh, to help fucking... Oh, what? 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 what, Bob? I, I gotta go. Shit. I <laughs> see, Bob you're doesn't want to ruin You don't want to ruin your career. You're a communist, Wait, let me tell Bob you a story Saget. about this fucker. Do the virus again? Let I me mean... tell you about Bob Saget real yeah, quick. Go ahead, Patrice. We're please. out in front of fucking <laughs> the Laugh Factory. This is how phony Bob is. He don't want nothing political. Bob needs ditch diggers too, you know. We had an argument, right? Just regular nobody comics. Maybe I'll know one day if I make it famous, but we going, hey, uh, we arguing about the best burger. Who has the best burger? Everybody's like, fuck that, nigga. Jack in the box. <laughs> Jack in nigga, the box. Wendy's, dude. What the fuck you mean? Bob, Bob goes, I think they're all delicious and juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case he could get a fucking deal with one of them. <laughs> fucking asshole. He wouldn't even decide what hamburger he likes. <laughs> It was a joke. <laughs> I love Bob. <laughs> All right, Bob. Come on in. All right, there, yeah, Bob. I love you. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, Bob. versus 100. Easy, Friday night's, uh, what, NBC? I don't even know. All right, he's gone. Anthony's yeah, 100% so don't give me any. Right. Thank you. 100%. Thank you. There are you know, people yes. in this country. No, no, no. There are all. people in this country oh, that on. think... That, that because you're American, it entitles you that everybody should be on the same level. People bitch that they're yeah. impoverished. Other people bitch uh, uh, that they're taxed too much. And th you know that's what, the way this country works. You, you forget where you came from. Your anger's no. displaced. I did not. No. I fucking know where I came from, and that's why I say I your talk like this. Your knuckles used to bleed. Would you, back in the day, so do yours back, in you the day walk. back in the day, back in the day. Oh, wow. He had to fucking throw it in. Come on. Oh, Rich. That was pretty good. We're having a serious conversation. That was, you that, was was like you judging. that was pretty good. It's like <laughs> Simon Cowell sitting back there. That, without a doubt, uh, is the see, it was accurate. Uh, racist 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 reference. I'm no, <laughs> just saying because you have big arms. But you yeah. shut up, you stupid. can't lob like up a knuckle on softball. Me I'm with you. That was a, I, that I was like a great. You know, here's what. Listen, wait, 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 wait. Would you not have when you was when you was fixing air conditioners? Yeah, ductwork. Would you have back then? Would you have liked to have a little relief? Somewhere, you are a hard working guy yeah. who happened to be blessed to be able to be funny mm -hmm. and get yourself out of that situation. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have wanted just a little bit of help somewhere. Somewhere, let me, just to help a fucking uh, little bit. Let me explain to you. I dropped out of fucking high school. Fair enough. No no diploma. I didn't get a GED. I didn't do shit. Is this a bootstring story? Yes, it is. I'm no, no, no. I'm, ta I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about when I worked. Then I got a job in air conditioning and heating, and I fucking uh, uh, worked hard enough, just hard enough, to fucking get paid what I needed, and to get health care. I had fucking health care. Okay, fuck health care. Okay, no, that's a big it, issue. But was there a little something where, uh, say if somebody said, you know, Anthony, we're going to save you a couple of dollars on, on something that you need every month. We're going to, you know what, we're going to give you a little relief on your electric bill, uh -huh. and we're going to charge it. To the whoever the Anthony guy is that has oh, a, a now? money, N then, let, 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 let then, me, let me think. then, like you right. know, we're gonna give you a little relief for your bills, just uh -huh. a little, on just on the shoulders of a motherfucker you, that might have never, a little extra. You'll never believe me. I would say fuck no, because it's not the uh, ideology that this country's fucking based on. People think they're privileged. Yeah, they think they have no, an not a the privilege no, thing, dude. They believe the country is obligated, the government and, and the people no, are obligated how can we feel to fucking that take care of everyone. How can we feel that if that's never been uh, the existence of this country? I mean, there is welfare programs, but there, a lot yeah. of people on welfare because they fucking might need it. I don't need welfare, but there's some people, dude, who aren't trying to buck the system, but they just didn't 
You know, there's a th this, Sorry. This, this country is based on the ignorance of a lot of people. This country is based on, like, you were happened to be able to have some talent to get the fuck out of your situation. But there is a schlep that is going to be a schlep for his whole life. No shit. But, but he could use a fucking hand to I help wasn't, out a little bit. I wasn't fucking uh, uh, living out in the streets. I had a roof over my head. I ate. I had fun. Oh. Well, I fucking had health care. I, I worked like my Anthony. ass off. But I had a good time. I wasn't fucking, like, <clears throat> I didn't like my job, but it, it supported me, and I had what I needed. Motherfucker, I've, heard you, so you say, but I've heard you say, man, I wanted out. Of course I did. But you wanted out. Ba right now, you're living. Because I hated my job. You're living your out. You hated your fucking job, and then you weren't looking for a handout, but you were trying to do better. So if you're, uh, you have what a shitty was your other option if you didn't? Was if you I'd didn't. have been working right now. I would have been in someone's fucking attic, yep. uh, installing ductwork. But that's this fucking country. Yeah, but Patrice, hold on, Patrice, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Right, Jim, Jim, let me hear from Jimmy a minute. There's one yeah. thing here that, that I disagree with that only because the healthcare. I, I, healthcare is a big thing, man. And again, I'm not talking about people who buck the system, but the fact that we're not taking care of people who don't have enough money. And I'm not talking about fucking social leeches. I'm talking about people who really do just work and make shit money and don't have coverage. And yet the way we spend, like, the way the Pentagon wastes money and, the, and that kind of shit, we are being overtaxed. They are fucking us in the mouth for our money. Yep. But they're putting it, and, I, and I'm not some fucking flaming liberal, oh, the war, they're wasting. But they waste even in times of not war. They, they are fucking greedy. They don't spend right. They don't account for the money right. So it's like, why can't that fucking wasteful shit be put into it legitimately so that it doesn't cost eleven thousand well, dollars you know for a fucking emergency then room. Then the stay. fucking government should look into insurance companies, things like that, restructuring of of the uh, uh, premiums. Maybe Obama shit would like do that. that though. Not take my fucking more tax. You know, Obama would do that if it wasn't a tax and spend. First of all, he wouldn't bullshit. do that. It's not. This is the thing. Oh, yeah, presidents don't do his promises. Listen to his fucking speeches. He's promising universal health care in this country before the end of his first fucking term. He's promising that. It was in his fucking Why speeches. Why is that hurting anybody? If that at if least you know pull. where the fuck your money's going, if he could pull that shit, it anyway. up, I'd rather have my money go to a tail fin of a cruise fucking <laughs> missile than go to some motherfucking. <laughs> Are you leech. serious? No shit, motherfucker. I'm not talking about leeches. A fucking not sick, leeches. no, a dirty sick leech. This motherfucker got a goddamn basketball in his kidney, and he and he can't, like he he can't get relief. He can't get relief. No, Why first, can't of all, he? The, first of all, the Don't hospitals can't. Yeah, I do. The hospitals Correct. can't turn anybody down. They can't turn anybody. You're saying, yep. so where do you draw go the line? in? Health care is three hundred dollars a fucking Patrice, month for decent health care. What do you three hundred? Try seven hundred and sixty dollars. Five. I no $500 shit. Five hundred dollars a month Dude. for motherfucking Dick Oxford. Man, who the fuck has? Seven hundred and sixty dollars a month to that's, fucking that's, pay right, yeah, health care. That is exactly. completely ridiculous. So, Who the fuck has that? Dude? So so go to those fucking insurance companies and say I want an accounting. Go where the fuck this money's going, you asshole. I'll be honest with you. Uh, if Obama I, I got on and said that was his plan, see, he's got a plan. I'm gonna give fucking health care to everybody. Well, fucking spell it out, asshole. Tell me that you're going to go to these insurance companies and say, um, re and we're you, restructuring you your whole fucking you know, Not that I'm being taxed. You're, up, did you're did you upset because you got whoa, whoa. money, dude. But no, who, who, shit. Who, what poor person is upset about health care fucking for everybody? What poor person? No, he, what because poor it ain't coming out of their black fucking it, pocket. It, it comes also, out of somebody's the haves and the haves not. The trickle down theory. Trickle, trickle down, Trickle some of that shit down. To somebody, I trickle the fucking shit out of my my money when 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 they I pay take taxes. it anyway, Anthony. So what if he applies it to healthcare? I don't want more taken to a out. Rocket. I don't want more taken out. I agree out. with that. I don't want. I don't want I'm to fifty percent partners. I'm full. Wait, you really I'm a partner with the United States government, and I'm paying them much too much. You think it's really only the insurance companies, the pharmaceutical companies? I had to get you get a prescription. Bonnie had to get right. The, Look into listen, that shit. Look, she had to get a prescription for a morning sickness with insurance. 
It was twelve. They said, was "Don't look at rich." Without insurance, <laughs> without insurance, it was seven hundred. But who do you, heroin would who have been do you think, Richard? Who do you think is friendlier to those fucking? I guarantee you that Obama, I think, would be less friendly to the pharmaceutical companies and the insurance companies pulling that shit. He's gonna be more friendly than, to the impoverished and the people that can't afford shit. Which uh, who it, are you voting for? Who am I voting for? I, I, I probably McCain. Lean in, okay, what, McCain. what is he doing that makes you feel better than Obama with his health care? What is he doing that you like, I can live with that, or is he doing something spectacular? He's not doing, it's, it's more what, what he's not doing, which is Democratic tax and spend. I'd rather see uh, tax cuts. Uh, like one thing Bush did that I think was good was tax cuts for corporations that so they can then hire more people and pump money into the economy. Wait, was the tax cut contingent upon them hiring? Because what happens is if you say, look, you hire X of amount of Americans, we'll give you a tax cut. That's one thing. But if you give the tax cut and say, here, you can use it to hire more Americans. Why would you do that when you got a Vietnamese the, the, child right. that's going to make your shit somewhere for a They're not going to use it to hire They're more Americans. They're pieces well, of shit. Well, then how about the take care of that fucking problem, too? Again, Obama's probably more likely that's how you to do get, well. That's how you become president in this shitty country, which is why nobody gives the fuck anyway that's what i'm saying it, it uh, uh, all white man does the same shit he owes somebody he owes a corporation mm -hmm. somebody something so does an obama why not vote for him Th this well, is the thing that's fucked up stop acting oh. like motherfuckers are not voting for his policies motherfuckers are not voting for a black guy that's it no, oh, and motherfuckers are voting for a black guy. I don't. I, Do you think eighty-five percent of the black people I, that are voting for Obama are all voting because they know his policies I and love him? They're not, voting for him because he's black. Let me tell you something. I do Come not believe on. in. I don't believe in the system. I don't believe in electoral votes. I think that's the biggest shitty scam I've ever oh, yeah, heard. Oh we were life. talking about that earlier. I don't yep. believe in fucking. I don't believe that he's necessarily winning these things. That's why I'm not really like, I'm just saying it'd be nice to see a black guy in the presidency. Because well, what do presidents do? Like I said, they only known for what event happened when they were president. Can you give me the fucking policies of Abraham Lincoln, motherfucker? I'll give Here's you one. Slavery <laughs> and a bullet in the head. Can you g tell me what, tell me what, what fucking William Lyndon, Taft? Lyndon Taft. Exactly. What, did what the do? fuck did he do for this country? Taft actually enacted the military J defense Jimmy, fund. That was, that was Taft. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy. Whoa. I made that up. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> well, Taft was determined. in 1806 sometime. Yeah. Who, what did... Truman dropped the bomb. Yeah. JFK got shot and he fucked Marilyn Monroe. Patrice, we, we, what the fuck did Jimmy Carter do? We were uh, Jimmy discussing Carter, this earlier. Uh, decimated the fucking United yeah. States Iranian military. Hostage. And he gave planes to the Iranians <laughs> yeah. right before that silly show dropped out. <laughs> You're backing up our point from this morning. We said, what do you really know about these candidates? Whether Nothing. it's McCain, whether it was Carter, whether... what Did you know anything about Bush well, before you voted for Bush? And one more point, Anthony. This mm -hmm. is the thing. Mm -hmm. They all have... Presidents have legacies. Right. At least Obama or Hillary, at least whatever their legacy is going to be, it's already built it's in. It's going to be the first It's built in. Here. So they don't need to figure out what's going to happen. If Let me tell you something. If, if half the world blows up, it's still the first <laughs> nigga president or the first bitch president. You understand? Yeah. So what difference does it fucking make? Now they, can, they might be able to do something because they don't have to figure out what their legacy is going to be for four years. Just vote for a black guy or a woman to see what the fuck's going to happen. Then you can go back to old white guys with that, white legs. I'm that sick of old I can white respect guy more than yes, any sick other of old white guy. That in the white I can house. respect more than any other fucking thing I've heard is just vote for the black guy. So let's all see what happens. Let's see what now, the fuck happens. I like the mystery aspect of that. I like the movie aspect mm -hmm. of it. It's exciting. It's kind of like, hey, we could all fucking be nuked or something. Yeah, or whatever. We, 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 that I respect more than, oh, it's it's not that he's black, that the black people, people are voting, <laughs> or it's the policies or this, that, or the other thing. So you're looking at it as a grand adventure for the yeah, country yes. for four years. Yes. Oh, there at it. is a light around this guy. There's some weird vibe people have. Like mm -hmm. when Jesse Jackson ran, when Sharpton is in the... No one ever feels that way about these. But there's some kind of a weird thing that I imagine JFK had, which is this weird thing where you're like, wow, things are going to change somehow in, in a good way. It's just a feeling. Maybe as a new way of doing things. He's not going to... Yeah. He is still the underdog, <laughs> even though he's winning. 
Hillary I'm to give so it a shot. In, Hillary is so embedded into uh, this government with all her connections. Dude, she, he's she's, kicking her ass. It doesn't matter. Right she's all of a sudden she's embedded. super, super embedded. delicate now. Even though she's a woman, they came she's out still with a seen, new one. Even though, even yeah. as a woman, she's still seen as how, more of the same. Even as a woman, she's still seen as more of the same shit because she's embedded. So I think that's actually going to hurt her because we've had a Bush or a Clinton in the White House. Right. That last name has been president for fucking since 1988. <laughs> Is it <laughs> I love Patrice. It's, why are you so, uh, John? Another old white guy. You know, yeah. hey, will you will you be the Huckabee? same way? Hey, hey, wait a second, you, Patrice. Would you be the same way with Colin Powell if he was running? You would go let a black guy, or if it was Condoleezza Rice, would you be the same way if they were conservative? Absolutely. If they were conservatives, yes. You, okay. Because black people are not, are not going to give a fuck about conservatives. That's, that's not true. And, black people don't stand behind black people. They will vote for a black guy, yes. conservative or not. Are yes. you Absolutely. serious, Colin Powell versus Huckabee? No, you don't I'm think we vote for Colin Powell because he's black? Condoleezza Rice, would they vote for her? Absolutely. Absolutely. You think? Over so? any Democrat. Absolutely. Over any Democrat. Yeah. So of you're saying they, they, would. They, they would jump party line for race. That's what you're we, saying. Black people this aren't is... party line. We don't believe in this yes, shitty you're system. Very, well, you're very... Because Democrat is what we... Look at... That, that's just what we're raised to do, is be Democrats. The, is, shit, because, the shitty yeah. system that's put a black guy now uh, pretty much uh, right there at the footsteps of uh, the White House. Yeah. That shitty system. Yes. Yeah, okay. But I don't believe in any of this. See, you, you're you educated on this shit, but the average layman, look, man, there is questionable, there's questions about Bush winning Florida in 2000. Right. There's questions about it. And mm -hmm. we live under that. We li live under the possibility of a president that didn't really win. And we don't give a fuck. Same with Kennedy Why don't Chicago. we just fucking vote for a black guy? Why do we give a fuck? Why do we give, we live under a guy, a fictitious war, which is, we all agree this is some bullshit now. It's, and, and, and he possibly didn't win Florida. Possibly. And we're comfortable watching this psychopath, <laughs> Christian right wing motherfucker be our leader. Right. We Billy. can't have a handsome, young, charismatic black guy for four years and just, Clinton, his okay. legacy is he got his dick sucked. Right. Yeah, that's we thing. can't vote for a fucking black dude. So we want to put Sidney Poitier yes. in there. Well, he's got that mole still, though. Yes. He's See what happens. The the same as Kennedy. Just Why not Sidney Poitier? Sidney Poitier. <laughs> Why not? I like Sidney right, Poitier. I God piss. damn. <laughs> Jimmy's got to piss. And, and we're getting away from Jimmy's first TV appearance, can, by well, the way. Can, I like the politics talk, actually. Politics. Yeah. I like politics. it. Uh, it's a, lo a lot of uh, right. Spirit passion of in this. It's very interesting. passion in this discussion. And the free health care, you say free education, too? Where do you draw the line on free? I, I'm just saying, where do you draw the line? Hey, it's annoying saying, to want to give Americans health care and education. Well, are you, you acting like an asshole? asshole? Because, because it's, a, it's a no. It's a so you, you, so you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want your fucking daughters to be able to go to fucking university $80,000 yes. a year, whatever the fuck but it is. Every, but then it just drops no, the doesn't. playing field. It, it does. absolutely no, does. No. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm saying Rich Voss you know is right. Switzerland yeah. no, Switzerland is a fucked up country. You gotta admit that. With it's the a non-fucking issue in the world. You know what? Stop you it, got, you Switzerland. Canada's, you know what? Canada's, Canada's we have a responsibility in this world that Switzerland will never fucking have, have to hold this whole to planet to keep to keep, ideology? to keep this fighting fucking terrorism planet is like fighting from ripping itself apart. Oh, really? It's like fighting wasn't here, obesity. Oh, really? The planet would rip itself apart if this fucking country wasn't here. Really? We've saved this country, this world, Are you from serious? the brink of fucking disaster. We've always Tenfold. been... We've, we are the brink of disaster. We drop a mushroom oh, cloud sure, we fucked some anything, shit up. But what the fuck? England ran the country for a second. They ran the world. Oh, back in Everybody, fucking wooden ships. So days. you're saying now this is it? We are the lead. We running shit forever. We were. Europe is getting very fucking uppity, rich, and united these days. But someone will pop up out of there and want to take over the world again. Yeah. I'm just saying the United States throughout the modern age has saved this fucking planet and shit countries from like 19 France and England and everyone. 19, from, I mean, for let's the 1940s, 1930, industrial not, age. No, 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 not even from the fucking 30s, because Hitler was over there baking people yeah. till 42. Yeah. 42, till 42. Because we, so we kept our, saving the world. Because we, we kept our war. asses out of it for a exactly. while. Exactly. But after World War II, let's say then, during and after, the tail end and after, and then the rest of the it was time we're our responsibility. Russians. We yeah. weren't fucking saving well, the world. Bullshit, that is saving the world. If we weren't here, the Russians would have fucking goose-stepped everywhere.
to where? To, to every fucking country in Europe. How do we stop? We didn't stop the we Russians put missiles from doing anything. Every, are you out of the your only fucking time we mind? Fucking, we, Germany, we, North used Korea? To, we, we used to fight. Where do you think the Iron Curtain no, was? we would fight the Russians. See, what the Cold War was, we would just pay everybody. Okay, if Russia went somewhere, we would pay some other little third. This is why we have enemies now. You don't think. We would pay somebody to fight Russia, and then now the people we pay to fight Russia hate our fucking guns. Those were the small uh, wars going on, but you don't think that the Soviet Union would have just swept across fucking no. uh, Europe the and only, taken the only everything that Germany had. had Germany Russia, had... The only concern we ever had with Russia was Bay of Pigs. What other Are fucking shit do we have? Right after World War II, Russia wanted everything yeah. Nazi Germany had. The only reason they didn't get it is because we said, fuck you, we're splitting this shit up. If our soldiers, that, that's why he's right about it's that. True. If our soldiers weren't there, that, they really were a deterrent for the Soviets. Holy the shit, Soviets, they wanted the Soviet everything. Union fell, all these places wanted their independence. Germany, right. Germany, Germany would have been, really did want to take Germany over a lot Germany would have been communist the whole We saved that entire fucking uh, Europe, and now we get shit on yeah. by them. They could go fuck themselves. I agree. And, and, and this country is uh, has been at the forefront of saving the goddamn world world over and over again sure we fuck up a lot <laughs> but you know what are you gonna do we're wasting a lot of time anthony uh really the country the country itself why are we still in iraq i don't understand I, exit strategy i don't understand none of it why I don't get that are we either. fucking around i think because in these lo countries logistically you can't just rip e everybody out of there and all the equipment and say and stop lying take about it easy. democracy we've never liked democracy anywhere else but 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 here, I, all I, of us, we don't want democracy around. I America, agree with you there. We can't go and do what the fuck we want to do. That's why we want dictators and we play. I we, agree. We, this shit is shit that we did, man. This shit, this fucking whole Iraq war is some other, is some bullshit we was doing in 19 fucking 70. <laughs> That's what the fuck we doing. I like this. You can't vote I for agree a black with you guy. I agree with you on that one. Vote oh. for a fucking black guy. Just vote. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And I'm vote supposed for to vote black for guy. the black guy. Yes. Just because he's black and let's fuck see what it. happens. Yes. 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 I want to be alive for a black president. Yes. Just to see what happens. It's good times for you and your business to just see what the Negro just president's to see doing what he now. Brings. It would be the best thing for this radio show because he'll have yes. a nervous breakdown. Yes. <laughs> it would bring an, life somewhere. They could have an Anthony. Uh -huh. When is Anthony going to have a nervous <laughs> breakdown <laughs> contest? Yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, for when's the election in November? What? <laughs> vote for the fucking guy, man. You think I should vote for him? Just vote for fucking the black president. It's as get, simple as that. I don't man. think you can get past the black thing. I don't know. Can you get past the black He's thing? He's light-skinned enough. Uh, he doesn't really get anything. He gets his chicken at I'm Boston. He's, a up He's not going to be running the country. Hmm? I mean, everybody All around white guy him is still running really? the country. Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude, do, you see some, do you see a trend in his supporters? A lot of white people support Obama. Mm -hmm. uh, I, again, they, they, they to can't tell me why. President. But now he's the president. Yeah. Now, it's not an old white guy right. that all these white uh, guilty people can then say, fuck you, old guy. We're not going to go along with what you say. Now it's a black guy in there, and they'll go, oh, you know something? Let's let's go along with him. Why not? Because we're so guilty as white people. He, let's see what the change he comes up in. Be <clears throat> and he, more shit will pass under his presidency than any other president. Yes, Mark my, my, my fucking words. See, do you see that she... Maybe Anthony, you stuff, have though. a fucking... It might have, be good stuff. Maybe good stuff. Maybe good stuff. I, you that's good. That's a nice gamble. You have man. You have some political... I try. ...savvy. The average mother... Remember Duka Michael Dukakis? <laughs> yeah. He lost the presidency... The tank helmet. ...because <laughs> he let, he had a furlough program. Nigga got out of jail. Right. right. Bitch. Yep. And it fucked him up. Certainly did. And that's how easy it I mean, is with Willie this country. This is an MTV <laughs> country. I like him. I don't like him. Yeah. Just vote for this motherfucker if he wins, and if, see what he does. He's he the wins, top American wins, Idol guy right wins, now. Yeah. That's what that's he is. What that's Obama this is. fucking country. American Anthony, Idol. Anthony's the last piece of the puzzle. You endorse Obama. It's, it's a done deal. If he wins, that's do black people <laughs> have to stop complaining. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony looked back. He looked like a slave. <laughs> you know, I, just, I just made I bug eyes. I was not voting for no black man. Anthony's the last piece of this puzzle that's been happening. If he wins, <laughs> black people can't say anymore. Well, fuck you. See, that's the rule, too. Okay, go ahead, Patrice. I'm asking, if I'm a asking. Jew becomes a president, okay, can, yes. you, you can't talk about the Holocaust no more? No, I didn't say the Holocaust. No, shut the, the fuck let, you up! Listen to me, I say... Racism that, no. is a part of our existence in this country, so if we, if it's a black president, we can't say no, shit. The Jews, aren't, racism the no Jews more? aren't using the Holocaust Plus to the, hold them back in advancing their people as they have. 
uh, in this country. So now, we're now, using racism to hold us some, back? Some black people, and I would say a majority, oh. use slavery. Did you just make and, up more? Yeah, you yes, said, I'm making this you up. You just made up majority. Through life experience. You just experience. said majority. Yeah, yeah we watched The I, Wire. You don't think you don't think <laughs> you don't think that black people uh, use the, the fact that white people Amazing. oppressed them during slavery and afterwards as uh, uh, I, I don't want to use the word excuse because uh, there has been a, a horrific racism in this country. Not really. I understand that. Not really. <laughs> There's been a horrific racism but, on this show. But. <laughs> but over Coming the years, when we get to a point, and like Rich said, we get to the point where a president, a black man is elected president, doesn't that negate, negate every single thing that negate? up to this point that, that now it shows that black people can achieve a anything? The ultimate in this country, the pinnacle of power in the free world. That's, that's, that is go. not the. That is not. So the why fucking... then should we take shit uh, from R Reverend Al about racist this and this? Shouldn't Reverend Al become completely fucking irrelevant? Shouldn't Jesse Jackson go the fuck away if there's a black president? I, I, but see, you, speaking but of you're Reverend making, Al, is it irrelevant uh, that all up to this point, every major leader up until this point mm -hmm. has been a old white guy, and yeah. all of a sudden. All the problems that we had when old white guys were president, yeah. that a black guy becomes president, that all those problems now disappear those just because of that. Just because that's that's just like, OK, white people, at least you're not as bad as we fucking thought. At least you voted for a black dude to do something for now. Now, let's do the next thing. Do you really believe we're going to walk around and say it's over? Do you, is it? It's done. Everybody, not it's oh, over. We it's done, Kumbaya, no. This nigga is the piece of the puzzle. But there are a piece of the cure. It plants a seed where excuses are no more. Okay, Jews don't use the Holocaust to hold themselves down the like you said. They use the Holocaust. The Holocaust. No, to they hold use the Holocaust. Down. Just part of it, not the Holocaust. <laughs> the Holocaust. The Holocaust. The Holocaust. Did you say the, you the say Holocaust. something is no more to be poetic. What did he say? Reason, reasons are no more. They I, plant they plant the seeds for the Holocaust to say reasons. <laughs> Jews, I, now Jews, I don't know what he said. Jews, Jews, have, and Jews are anyway. elevated we in this society. Jews, Jews, the Jews, Jews, are seen, <laughs> Jews are seen as a as a success as a over a overcoming situation. But right. I'm not, I've, I said this a million fucking times. You can move on. It's a crime to be a Nazi to this day. Uh huh. Niggas are just freed. It's over, Negroes. 400 years of raping and mixing your color. See that light skinned girl right there? That's called I, I raped your mother, bitch. <laughs> it's, but they we just better. are fucking done. That's what I'm saying. It's a vague <laughs> existence we live in. We live with the enemy, and we're doing pretty the fucking enemy, okay. The enemy. The fucking enemy. I'm and glad you about, said 400 wait a minute, the fucking enemy, years ago. The enemy. We're talking about, and what I mean by uh -huh. the enemy is your skin color, Anthony. I don't look at you as an oppressor. Tolliver. Your skin color is my Hitler mustache. And every white guy. Is it really? You know what? You know what? Patrice, is it really? Patrice, how many fucking generations Patrice, of my you know what? skin color? Do you consider color? yourself a white guy? Yeah. You yeah. know, and, but your family probably came over here from the criminal thing and and. Uh, you're and, the and, Sicilian and, and, fucking yes. thing. You're from another country. But I don't look that you far can... back. Why do you got to go 400 fucking years in your culture and, you know and what? still bring it up? We understand. Yes, it's been Jews horrible. Jews get to bring no, up the well, fucking well, Holocaust no, wait, but see, every Patrice, second. But like Patrice, you said, they overcome this you shit. You can't yell this out. Jews are more hated throughout this world than blacks are. Okay? Don't look at me with that thing. Jews on the white supremacy <laughs> list are number one. The only difference is we know you're black. Some of us can get away with not looking as a Jew. People in this country, a black man will Davis be a president before a Jew will. That's right. No question Thank whatsoever. God. Okay, so Jews, <laughs> don't, act, don't act like Jews have it so fucking easy. All right? I say there's Jews have it There's 3% of us in this whole fucking country. I know. 3%. The there's 13. There's 13 <laughs> there's 30, no. no this is why like, nobody likes them. I know. You know why? This, this is why nobody likes them. Because you just said that Jews you're, have it so you're easy. Helping, you're uniting me with Patrice right now. Jews are just, uh, just shut uh, up. You know what? Oh, okay. Just shut up. We should, we should, we don't sit and Fucking complain. At least black people are focused about food. Everybody, let me tell you what this country is. Everybody, it's white people on top and everybody positioning to be the most oppressed. Right. And, and, and that's what, and I will agree with you on that. 
is that I think that we we qualify and relate too much to how we are to white people. We don't really have an agenda. We don't have a. That's why a black president might just because it might. crime to each other. Mm-hmm. Maybe if it's a black president, we actually might look at each other and go, "Hey, look, let's not shoot each other in the face," because you know, yeah. we gotta make the you know make let's make the black president proud. Let's make let's show them that we could just be proud. Maybe a, maybe all white guys as our boss for our entire life kind of gets you a little bit. Angry. I can you see now. That's a point I can appreciate and understand. That's when good. Patrice says it like that, that I can understand. Can, can we, we feel s- good for five thing, fucking seconds? I, I I understand. You want to feel good for five <laughs> seconds? Can we just <laughs> feel good? I don't seconds. need. I don't need. A, you know, uh, huge amounts of change. You say, oh, oh, white guy, oh, white guy, oh, white guy. It's done okay by me. Of course. And it's done you have, okay by You have an old white guy existence, man. You got some no, money. No. You, you're feeling good. You can go play golf. You drive a, a, a car, a nice car, nice every. You live in a nice existence. Wait, guy, mm-hmm. he didn't do all right by you. I mean, you were, you, you lived a life okay, but you were shit, too. Like, like you fucking yeah. uh, air conditioning guy. You happen to be brilliantly funny, so you made a great career, but the fucking But that's everybody's that, life. No, no, it's no, called no. fucking working. I know, yeah. but I'm saying yeah. it's like it's not like all of a sudden because you're white, they fucking... You know, you were in the same shit. Yeah, I know. I didn't get. But and here's something. And that's what I believe. I believe that 100. percent This is why I don't like O'Reilly. And this is why you know Sharpton bugs me too on on a certain level. Just because this country takes people who don't know. It's it's the no that Mm -hmm. take people who don't know and manipulate them into warring with each other and taking sides when poor black people and poor white people are in the same fucked up shit. If I'm in the know. Anybody in the know can elevate in this country. That's the that's the great thing about this country. But if you're not in the know, man, if you don't understand shit, you're you're destined. Well, and, get and your doomed. fucking self in the know. Yeah. That's my thing. Is people it's not are, that simple. That's not are, fair it, to it, say. It, no, it is fucking this, simple. Listen, man, this radio show took you mm-hmm. to another level mentally, Anthony. It's, it exposed you to things that you wouldn't be exposed to. I wouldn't, if I stayed in Boston, I would have never gone to Australia. I talk to my friends in Boston, I go, look, man, listen, fuck going to Miami, get your passport, you, you, we're going to go to Australia, eat sushi. Nigga, I ain't no raw fish, motherfucker. <laughs> that would be me if I didn't, if comedy didn't place me places in this world to to understand more but things, I, edu- I educated yeah, myself before I ever got into radio. I, like I said, I dropped out of fucking high school. It wasn't like I needed a uh, uh, high school to teach me shit. I fucking knew there was stuff I wanted to know about my life, the world, people, biology, astronomy, and I pick up a fucking book or, simple enough, turn on a television show that wasn't some sitcom and watch uh, PBS or something and maybe learn something and educate yourself. People are too fucking lazy. What are you going to learn about black people? They don't want to educate themselves. (laughs) I know enough about black people. (laughs) To not vote. And I'm not voting for Barack Obama. Do you think think black people are better off now than they were 20 years ago? Absolutely. There are a lot of black people that don't. And there are a lot of black people still using the same excuses of 20 years ago on the racism and, and the oppression that was on top of them 20 years ago now. And the, the reality of the situation is Anthony, that an educated, well-spoken second, black dude. man has a better chance at getting jobs and succeeding than born, a white guy I does. I was born a year after Martin Luther King got shot. On the balcony. A year. Oh, my mother you, don't was, worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought my, you were going to say my, I was almost there. No, my mother was was living in the... Fi- my mother thinks differently than me. Mm-hmm. I think a little differently than probably somebody that's 20 now. It's going to take a minute to get past that, but, but the fucked up shit just stopped yesterday. Like, that's what I'm saying. You act like... We this has been some thing where that's like your boy that what's that fucking radio guy that you guys love you were in Bob Grant no 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 Bob Grant, Bob Grant. That, that, oh, Bobby. that fucking old we let's just get back to the way it was <laughs> for the you, you good old fucking days. asshole the, the good, good old, old days, days. Is the ba- black people are just now thinking about the good do old you days. honestly think just now and yesterday fucking black guys ready to be president. And you're telling me this was yesterday? But black guy, first of all, time out. Black guys, black people have run. You had Shirley Chisholm, and you had Sharpton, and you had Jesse Jackson. We've never been, serious we've been, contenders. We've been running 
for a president. But never this is serious not, no, contenders. All Obama's doing is running for president. Yeah. So that's not anything new. We're talking about there's an actual feel. This a is what's chan- with yeah, you. Yeah. There's a chilly. You, you, white people are getting the chills. And it's your own guilt. We're not going to fucking oh my kill you. It's called fear. <laughs> we're not going to We're NYU not going to fucking kill you. We're not. It's just a you guy. Promise. We, we, we promise. Okay. Just vote for just the guy. Just stop fucking yeah, up. Will you vote for the guy? <laughs> 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 will, will you, hey, just vote for the will guy. Will you vote for him if he looked like Omar? <laughs> <laughs> Omar. The wire. <laughs> you, you vote for him if he acted like him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rich S. from Kansas City writes, uh, Patrice just gave out the new winning Obama slogan. Just vote for this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the signs. Let's be in this motherfucker. I'm going to vote, vote for, for him. Hey, uh, I'm jump party What's line. interesting is that um, Sharpton hasn't endorsed Obama yet. He shouldn't. That's the best thing that ever happened for Obama because hey, what, another it, thing about it, black leaders. It, it, you think Sharpton's smart enough not to endorse him knowing it would hurt it's him? The, if, it, I don't believe. I believe that Sharpton would get up there because he's a guy who likes to be in the limelight. Well, he's been he very quiet about this whole thing. He want to get up there and hold up Obama's hand and be. But if God bless him. If he knows that that would be suicide f- to support Obama, because it would mm-hmm. It'd be suicide. You think Sharpton's yeah. smart enough to know that? I pray. You know what? I pray <coughs> to God he's smart enough to not endorse Who's Jackson Obama. Jackson endorsing. I hope it's not. I They're hope both it's endorsing not. Obama. If they're going to come out and endorse him, they have to. Well, Bush was stupid enough I, to I endorse. I hope they don't. They will. But everybody Bush knows was, anyway. That's not a big Bush deal. was stupid enough to endorse McCain. You know, then Bush's popularity is uh, sucks dick. Hey. <laughs> So that's not going to help. Like, yeah, I'm sure McCain was like, oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Black, black shut people the fuck never up. had a leader in this country. I mean, Martin Luther King Malcolm was X. the be- But see, he wasn't. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, they weren't. They were leader by proxy. But the thing is, we've never actually voted for anybody that this country. Right. It was some leaders. kind of appointed. Uh, yeah. like, Al like, Sharpton is white people. That's he's the white people's. A candidate for leading us. We we've never ever voted for Al Sharpton. Certainly don't and remember the, casting the, a vote for exactly. him. Exactly, and the leader of black people is always who white people hate. So right. Lord knows, who I do not to, want Obama to get supported. Black people should not support him. We should go fuck that motherfucker, <laughs> and then vote for him in the, in the cut. Because if the more white people see that black, he's not accepted by black people. This might be. Uh, <laughs> we, we just might be. Good. I'm, uh, let's take. Let's just. Let's look into this. And because if black you... people start doing coming to America shit, and <laughs> <laughs> every town is a bongo fucking parade. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Welcome, Obama, Barack. Go, 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 baby. Yeah, and Barack comes out trying to be black. What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> it's Can over. you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> hey, Brad from New Jersey. <laughs> Brad from New Jersey. Got <laughs> let me get, let me get this in. Let me get this in. Brad from New Jersey writes in the words of the great Ron Bennington: "White people have been running things for the past fifty thousand years or so. Maybe we need a break. Maybe we need a break." In the four afternoon. more, four oh, years. We want to lay back and go. You know something? You take the wheel for a while. Right. Let's Why see not? how this we goes. Don't you, you want to rest and look yeah. at all the sights? Right. Right. You saw how good all, all the shit the y'all window. blew up. Don't you want to look at all the shit you blew up <laughs> over the flex? <laughs> Wouldn't be nice. You saw how good Idi Amin did. <laughs> kind of relax. <laughs> that's true, Charles you Taylor. See, that's the fucking, <laughs> you motherfuckers. That's the vision. <laughs> that's why Forrest Whitaker won the Oscar. White baby sandwiches is what we're going to eat from now on. A key grip get his eye. Oh, Lift the eye. That's what it White is. White baby the, sandwiches. The, the Negro dictator. Uh-huh. Are you fucking, you know. It's a joke. I'm, I'm voting for Obama now. No, but you. that's why. That Bobby Joe, we had a joke about uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Bobby, we, you know, you joke. This is, that's the thing. You know, you're friends. You joke racially. But it, it, it helps. Yeah. So Floyd Mayweather, go. He's just a, you know, he's an arrogant dude. He's a charismatic, arrogant motherfucker. So white people, I'm just like Bobby. Why, why don't you vote for him? Why you vote? Why? I mean, not vote, but why are you not for? Him? He goes, I just want, I just want black people to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a little. <laughs> and we, and we were joking, but I this want, fucker, Anthony, he's, he's Anthony, serious. Let me say something. Thank you. 
I just want oh, him to Bobby say hello yeah. and yeah. Ever, goodbye. Have you ever tried to get... Want, that's it, right? Oh, hi, how are you? Yeah. I'm good, how are you? <laughs> that's right. Even if they're is, faking man. it. Wait, how's this room Even go? Even if they're hold faking on, it, Hold on, hold on. Obama? Jimmy's leaning toward Obama. I, I think Patrice I'm Obama. leaning towards Obama. I like the Obama. And Boss is McCain. No, I'm leaning towards... I'm bu I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards Obama, so I Holy could just... Shit. Well, I'm not because... I really no, don't want to No, before all this, because... Because McCain is a little old, he's a little liberal. So what the hell? Let's see the liberal. liberals and see what happens. He's dude, a bottom line, there's something. a weird feeling around the dude. That that's what it's about. Because I, I usually typically despise Democrats. I don't like the tax policy. I agree with yeah. 100. percent mm. I do yes. not make me a 50 percent partner of the government. Jimmy's, right. Jimmy's had an interesting yeah. couple of years on this radio show because you were very. Uh, you were so much more Republican two years ago than you I've are now. Bush has destroyed yeah. the Republican but, but, Party's uh, unity. And Bush and, and destroyed it. Because of the religious aspect yeah. of them. Yeah. Because of this fucking $350,000 fine, which is all parents' television council shit. Like, the Democrats are repulsive with their fucking political correctness, but the Republicans are also... Yeah, let's not forget. Oh, I know. And you, you had a let's not forget Obama guy. wanted I'm is gone, but, you know, we didn't forget that. But that's but, yeah, that's true. But, yeah. but it doesn't matter. That's, that's, that's the political way to do it. Right, They're all going to agree. With the admit, but fire. you got to admit, if you had what you thought mm -hmm. was a qualified white Democrat guy, you didn't give a fuck who it is. He'd win the presidency. It's weird yep. that Bush has has taken us to the place where get these Republicans out of here. And now yeah, you're sitting there so waiting strong, around for the, for the old white guy Democrat. Dude, and it's like, oh, my God, a bitch and a nigga. <laughs> Nothing else. Well, Romney, a, you know, a, they, a, a they, fucking uh, a Mormon from Utah, and John Edwards. <laughs> John Edwards blew this. How did that fucking win? <laughs> no kidding, man. Jesus Christ! It was a fucking Benetton ad, you cocksucker. <laughs> you couldn't fucking win the nomination. A black guy and fucking a fucking Mormon. Yep. And you um, bowed out first. This you wouldn't the, vote for if it was just a qualified Democratic. This white was guy, the easiest election for points. the Democrats to yeah. win, yeah. And, they're, yeah. and they're making right. it. But they're making it close. A woman, See the Obama a woman, thing for it's me. It's a woman and a black guy. It might be the president in the Oval Office. They're really going to have to check. The jokes, the running gags around the White House are definitely going to have to change. You know what, dude? Uh, the president <laughs> nothing done. Dude, he's a figurehead. It's but it's been there interesting is. watching Jimmy because it's been a, a transfer, uh, transformation going on with you. The last I, few years. I just, but, but again, and my problem is the fucking the, the conservatives forcing their morality about fucking gays and all that shit down my throat. I believe makes me when sick. We so started. Jimmy's done that, and I've joined the NRA, and I'm yeah. stockpiling and weapons. But that's who, that's who's fucking up radio. That's but that's what nobody in this business should be voting. For for a Republican dude, mm -hmm. this fucking Huckabee, President Huckabee, Man, he's he's so out. Mathematically, he doesn't even have a he's chance. He's done McCain, a guy that was abused in Vietnam, him that I like fucker that. I kinda has like that bad Rambo dreams. Aspect of it. Yeah, but see, the reason I like Obak too, it opens the door for Obak? Jews. Who's yeah. Obak? I said, whatever. It opens the door. No, it's not. It's not. Listen, whatever. Said, you got to pull what? a lot. I said Barack. Oh, oh, I said Barack. Which one's the elephant and which one's the Barama? donkey? Oh, I said Barack. Which one's whatever the elephant and which one's the donkey? It opens the door for Jews. I'm voting for Redenbacher because it's popcorn. You, you just heard him, right? You just what? heard what he said, right? It, what was that? it door opens for, the door for Jews. That's what he's concerned about. Oh, that's all he cares about. You're damn straight. Get in line behind for, everybody, yep, absolutely, because right. this country is uh, exactly. a very racist when it comes we'll to Jews. We'll have a fucking tranny first, because yeah. we already feel. See, this is the thing about the racism of our Jews. Ah, I'll we say, already right. feel that you're, that you're run, running the country. Can I just, but it's ridiculous. Behind the, the scenes, clandestinely, they feel that you're. No, who won it? The run wasp run this country. That's who wants the country. Good old wasp. boys, not, any, not anymore. Good old boys ran it in 1950. The wasp. It's a giant wasp that runs it. Any swell because corporations run it. Corporations run the country. And banks. Who owns the most property? Why the fuck do Jews always get mad when people say they run? Run the, what kind of racism? It bothers you to say you run the banks. No, we do not. We Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wait, 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 we are, black talking. people are, are rapists, robbers, and junkies. You run the banks? Well, you are you fucking that. complaining? <laughs> Shut the fuck hey, up, don't forget, Jews. Don't forget Big Shut Dick. Shut up. You guys get Big Dick. At least now we're educating people we're out animals. there. <laughs> big Dick robbers. These motherfuckers. <laughs> Diamond <laughs> District. <laughs> Diamond <laughs> District fucking bankers. In Hollywood. And, 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 Hollywood. Yeah. Right. and you motherfuckers want. Right. What else do you want? Wait, how, you, shut the fuck up. We're not taking the blame for this you country. Made, you made... We're taking... And when you uh, say... No, shut, shut up. When you say Jews up, run man. the country, then we take the blame for what's going on in this country. You make... Here's what Jews... I have oh, my Jews. Answer that. They answer made, that. They made the Godfather cry 
<laughs> about saying a statement that I didn't even see nothing wrong with, and they made him cry and give all his money to Simon Wiesenthal. I don't know what you do. I don't know how you do it. You made Mel Gibson cry. I don't... Uh, I respect your power. You have some sort of power. Mm. Do you need the presidency for your fucking self-esteem? Vice president. Black people, could, Vice president. Black, black people <laughs> could fucking just vote for a black guy for our self-esteem. Like I said, I've had to look at Jeff Spicoli pictures as Jesus for my entire <laughs> fucking life. Can I just I think be it's proud more for I think it's minute? more Lance from Pulp yeah. Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Lance! <laughs> Can you give me a fucking break? Can you give us five seconds? You Listen, run shit. It is Your amazing doctor's we're still going with the white Jesus. It's still amazing. They me. won't change it. Amazing. How are we going to change it now? There's black people that just, are fucking horrified to see a black Jesus. Just take a history lesson. That guy wasn't white. He certainly was. He had blonde hair and blue eyes. Oh, <laughs> he was inspired by God himself. <laughs> right. Guy. He he was was white, say what he looked like. Oh, just because he was born on a certain place of the earth. His father's supposed to be God. How the hell you know what color he's going to be? God fucking shot him. White man load. He had dirty blonde pubes. <laughs> like are, you, are, you saying, are you saying that in the Bible there's a part missing where he came from Iowa all the way to uh, Baghdad? What is now Iowa? No, no, it doesn't matter where he's no, from. What is now Iowa? <laughs> since God, <laughs> what is now Iowa? who is an old white guy with a big white beard, mm -hmm. right. since he's the father, mm -hmm. you know, the, the he came out white. Irish guys, I, I'm, I'm sure. He came I'm, out I'm white. I'm positively sure. <laughs> That's yeah. right. In Baghdad, I'm sure there was a white Jesus with, with a perm. That's so he was saying. an Arab. Don't try to claim him as a black guy. I didn't. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I, I at least say he looks more like uh, Saddam Hussein Saddam. than he does. Mocha. He was right. Mocha. Yeah. Whatever well, makes you, you feel better. Saddam's hair and he looked like his Sam. Beard. He looked like our own Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> hair. He had feet of bronze. And, I mean, we, and we don't Maybe complain too dirty. much about feet that. Feet of bronze that could flick quarters yeah, off of them when he was young. Maybe the feet of bronze were dirty. That's what he meant by that. They, <laughs> Christ didn't wash his feet. He was busy. <laughs> we don't, we don't busy. complain a lot about, about white Jesus. It's not, it's not an often you no. hear just the black Israelites complain about black Jesus. Yeah, yeah, they complain about but that. But the average black person is so used to looking at white Jesus and so afraid of God. Black people are so afraid of God that we're not going to fuck around with God's image that we've seen all this time. But at least, you know... You leave Jesus chance. alone, and we have left alone the fact that, especially uh, over the past um, 20, 30 years or so, black people have tried to lay claim to every single invention made. Yeah, we've really... We <laughs> I'm getting a little shit. tired of hearing during Black History Month how this motherfucker <laughs> yeah. invented the stoplight. That's right. Is invented. that not... I now, don't know! Now what are you going to do? Just pass right through it and fuck this nigger technology <laughs> <laughs> and kill somebody? We help you white people yeah. live! <laughs> That's how we invent Lord and Jesus, how do we keep white Growing people alive? up in school, all I knew was Peanut Man. Yeah. I didn't have to deal with anything else or remember anyone but Peanut Guy. And now it's stoplights. How about Charles Drew? him in for the light. He Everything. was helping Edison behind Charles the scenes. How about Charles Drew to fucking help him cure his fucking AIDS every time he fucks a trans person? There you go, every, one of that. The heart transplant guy. Thank that, that, you. I understand. But Beepers. Jesus. There's always he's a, a black guy who I am so hyper right now. I drink like six cups of coffee backstage. Oh. I feel like I'm talking like a McDonald's hamburger tonight. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we could all unite right, in our hatred of Jimmy's act. It's time, to, it's time to unite. <laughs> Hold hands, black like Jew, white, <laughs> racist. <laughs> Racism goes out the window when Jimmy's doing his. Let's oh, all get on board. He needs earphones. What? Yeah. Quick break. Oh. Don't do a double on me. A quick break, and we'll uh, yeah. we'll do some Jimmy audio. And get the fuck out of here. But uh, it's got faggot. Oh. I'm sorry, old man. Look at Brian McNamee. Fucking worm. He's a fastball to his fucking nerd glasses. Worm, worm, they, they are fucking, fucking worm. Go fuck yourself, Brian God McNamee. Damn, let's look at his fucking dumb foot. God, he's a worm. Fucking saving needles and shit. Go fuck yourself. Shit. And I'm not even a Clemens fan, to be completely right, honest. Right, it's with just you. some code. It's a man uh, code, uh, like uh. you pussy. Right, exactly. <laughs> He's a Jew. Blame another Jew. <laughs> this is the guy that ran and told a teacher in high school. <clears throat> Why are you trying to get a, a, oh, a cigarette a in outside or something? Well, but, smoking's bad for you. But let me know. tell you this, though. Roger Clemens, uh, big head, big steroid head. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Thank, <laughs> thank you, dude. Oh, my God. It's oh, just it's a giant. It's a brontosaurus head. Fuck. God <laughs> damn. Just giant. He shaved his head, which was really bad, because you could see where it's, like, protruding in places. Maybe it shouldn't be protruding. <laughs> it should be on a <laughs> fucking mountain in Rushmore. <laughs> he's growing one of those stegosaurus humps. <laughs> I don't know what's going he's on. In, <laughs> he's in the middle of altered states. Wait, 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 wait. Having Is fun, but now way? we got to stop. What happened, Jimmy? What happened? Is there any way to rewind? The tape uh, for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds yes. Why, what happened? Yes. You heard it? I oh, I heard it. it. Is. 
I Just, heard. I it. don't even want to say what it is. All right. We were having fun and what did Rich say? I had a good line. You, you did. Hold on. Don't right. Just wait. All right. It's about the size of his head. We got it? Uh, <laughs> they're trying to find it. Just on, give me see. a heads up when you got it. Oh, you got it, Derek? He'll get it. Derek's good. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this was a good move. I had to do it. <laughs> oh, Derek. <laughs> That's way too inside. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I made a joke for three people. He's got it. Oh, he's got it? Okay, let's hear it. Come right. on, Derek. Let's hear this gem. Yeah. It's a good one. A teacher in high school. Mm. Well, you're trying to get a, a, oh, a cigarette a in outside or something. Well, but, smoking's bad for you. But we let me know. tell you this, though. Roger Clemens, uh, big head. Big steroid head. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Big, thank you, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. It's oh, just it's a giant. It's head. Fuck that. <laughs> damn. It's a giant. He shaved his head, which was really bad, because you could see where it's, like, protruding in places. Maybe it shouldn't be protruding. <laughs> it should be on a <laughs> fucking <laughs> mountain in Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There, there it was, We're people. <laughs> he should be, yeah. in a, he should be on, on a mountain, mountain in, in, Rushmore. in Rushmore. With with. Roof's <laughs> face on it. He should be on a mountain in, in Rushmore. Rushmore is what a town called Rushmore, Rushmore with a mountain in it. <laughs> oh my dear sweet Jesus! Uh, you know what I, what, Could you just what, try, Voss? What, Could you try? Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, wow. Where the fuck, when I was in uh, Seattle, there was a sign that said Everett, the next town, and I wasn't paying. I woke up in the morning. And I go to the guy. That's not the mountain, is it? <laughs> Right. He thought it was You're hard. frighteningly stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> frighteningly. And that's what bothers me. Mount mm -hmm. Everest. About it, Voss is he's a fucking a distinguished age. And I sometimes I feel fucking bad calling Voss dumb. He's fifty three years old. I'm 50. <laughs> and I, and I, I swear to God, man, sometimes I go, why do I I treat a a fucking man? His age with this, like, I, I feel so comfortable calling him fucking dumb. He's 20 years older than all of us. <laughs> and I, it bothers me that I'm always like, you're fucking dumb, Voss. But I'm like, God damn we gotta it. Give you a but he, but he just reinforces it on a <laughs> yes, daily basis. Like, I want to look at him uh, like this uh, guy. Minutely basis. I want to call Voss for advice. And I'm I can like, give you advice on life, life vice? stuff. That's what I'm saying. I, I can give you advice on life You can give me vice? Stuff. No, I say advice on life stuff. <laughs> like vice. What? Uh, what? You know, yeah. shit like uh, uh, relationships and fatherhood. Hey, Voss, how'd you get so stupid? Was it the crash? <laughs> <laughs> how'd you get so stupid? Oh, my God. Because there's intelligence okay. in there. Where? Is it just there? comes out it's, weird. It's because wisdom, he... but not... It, Voss is fucking <laughs> dumb. <laughs> We're talking about you, if you don't know. <laughs> but, it's, but he has wisdom. I think Voss, Voss has life, man. I respect I love Voss, Voss but he's so He just dumb. hasn't died. Voss needs to slow down. Oh, really? Just slow down a little so bit. So what should I do, put on 300 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, there you go. See? He smashes one. <laughs> you know? but, okay. but, but Bobby's working on it. He's going uh, to the yeah. gym now. Like to get the four? <laughs> I'm you know what it is, too? Can I say, I went to the hospital, the doctor yesterday uh, to get checked out for everything. Yeah. I want to get a clean bill of health for the for everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, she actually, I didn't even go in. I went in there. Referred for, you to a vet? I, listen, <laughs> <laughs> I went in there for herpes, syphilis, all that, you know, shit. The, she goes, all right, first thing you got to do, lose weight. I go, I'm not, I, I am working, <laughs> I'm working out. I'm trying. And then she hands me a, a piece of paper, the fat chart. Have uh -huh. you seen this? No. It tells you your, you take your age. <laughs> what you're supposed to and be. And your height. Yeah. And you, what you're supposed to be. It's ridiculous, it though, that chart, obesity, by the way. Five foot one. Obesity. <laughs> 800 pounds. Obesity. <laughs> you're supposed to be Jupiter. <laughs> before obesity. Listen to this, though. The, the chart is way, it's fucked up. Go ahead. It says. I know what you're going to say. I'm an extreme. I'm an extreme Obesity. Extreme obesity. And says, extreme. And how tall are you? I am five. Extreme. Eight and a You're the headliner of nice. obesity. Five eight and a quarter. And how much you weigh? I weigh two sixty. That's not that bad. Okay. Two sixty. That was muscle. Five eight two sixty. That's all. That's crazy. Dude. Well, he maybe is off the by thing, eighty. Though, is that, 80 like, I, I have a lot of muscle on me. Shut up. Oh, I tried. Right, can we, uh, <laughs> Why don't you do that VH1 show? Blame it on muscle. What VH1 show? Why don't you do uh, the one, the VH1 show, where they lose weight? You know, oh, celebrity, the celebrity part. Can we do? Oh. Uh, <laughs> can we? It doesn't say on TV once. Fit Club <laughs> <laughs> has thirty good minutes. Fit Club. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Welcome to this edition of Does College's fucking us. <laughs> <laughs> the Who Fit Club. <laughs> By the way, according to the same chart, yeah. I'm borderline overweight. 
You really? That's, yeah, that's how stupid yeah, this that is. Yeah, that chart is really really just. For I'm I'm still in the uh, healthy weight category, but barely. Wait, what? Am I, if I'm five seven. I'm five eleven, and and one yeah, and I'm, and up one. I'm about one seventy, and and yeah, Colin Quinn is actually a. a so top I just is, make make it to the uh, healthy weight Colin category. Quinn, one more pound, and I'm on the. Uh, I'm officially overweight. Well, I'm five that's six and a half. Five six and a half, about one fifty five. One fifty. Yeah, where's that chart? Because Colin here? Quinn is actually fatter than me <laughs> up top. Looks fatter than me. But he's he actually weighs less than me. He weighs two thirty. He's got skinny legs. He's, he's got skinny he's legs. Ostrich what legs. What are you, Jimmy? About say five between <clears throat> five that's five six and a half, five oh, seven. Ah! Um, five six. <laughs> no, I'm not five six. I'm a little taller. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm five three. six people. Yeah. Yeah. One fifty three. You just lost two pounds. Yeah. Wait, how much you weigh, Jimmy? Exactly. Was he taller than me? You're that. I was tall. But he was tall. Fifty five. Yeah, one fifty five. You are. You're like. You're like me. You're just about overweight. Just about. You just make it. Let me see this. How are you doing? How tall? Oh, yeah. Let's get to the tape. Fuck this. All right. Jimmy's first TV appearance 11 years ago. Can you, can you tell? I am so hyper right now. I drank like six <clears throat> cups of coffee backstage. I feel like I'm talking like a McDonald's hamburger tonight. You know? <laughs> no wonder women don't like me. It is not sexy to be this hyper on a date. You know? Hi, how are you? <laughs> get away from me. You look like Cousin Ed at the chemotherapy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, yes. I would love to make love to a woman who is just as hyper as I am. That would be worth filming. You know, blah, 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 bing, I can't sleep. Oh, my God. Oh, he's killing with that horse shit. <laughs> That's, that's, like your, that's your third comparison bit throughout the set. <laughs> oh, my he God. really is, man. Yeah, yeah. It's just a theme of cousin like he's, it. He's, he's chewing cousin his in. finger no, and everything. Are you, are you performing on the Yellow Brick Road right now? <laughs> <laughs> is that why you're doing so well? You <laughs> that became your punchline for every joke. Yeah. Oh, the, the Hambler Burglar, Cousin It. That Whoa, was it. No, Norton, Jesus. we used to get him on that formula. It was... <laughs> It was take something and add a terrible disease to it. <laughs> and you have to, wait, then you have to My feet look like a they, thing with AIDS. So, what? They, you have to slip in it, and then you have to die, yeah. and then you have to go. I wish I'd slip in a puddle of that set. That's what you. Oh, Why, Rich? Wow, we're Why? Oh, oh, don't even let's go back to it. Keep going. Rich. Keep going. So right. we're swinging and missing. You know, you should be on a mountain. This is. And this is, we even this sure. is hold on, hold on. But the observation: we weren't even sure if it was a swing or a miss yet. You didn't even give it a yeah, chance to yeah, sit there for a second. This show was a He's destruction so insecure, of Voss's confidence. That's right. What did you yeah. say? Yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't hear what you said. I just shit on you. What did you say? I didn't hear. I was fucking shitting on you for no reason. I'll be very honest. What'd you say? Your eyes gave away, <laughs> Jimmy. Why did you? Why did you just what? sound like you're did sick you, just now? Yeah. Did you just? Hey, is that, I didn't hear you. Jimmy's eyes gave away. I don't know people. Uh, like uh, Sometimes like people, I don't hear what people say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you really do sound like a fairy. <laughs> All right, let's get person. back to the tape. Oh, Come please, on. please. We're trying to like. Get Jimmy's so more. uncomfortable. He's chewing on his finger. He's like, uh, he, he's really uncomfortable. We got to kind of go into speed round. Really making me cringe. The only reason is because they're gonna cut us off because we haven't taken many. Breaks. I, I think we got another 10 or 15 in us, yeah, but after that, it's 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 pushing it. I am so lonely. Uh, any hookers here? <laughs> no, I'm, I don't get hookers. I don't understand in this day and age why is prostitution illegal? What is prostitution? It's paying somebody for sex. That's against the is law. Is it really, Carl? Now, pornography <laughs> is totally legal, and what is that? It's paying somebody for sex and then showing it to the world. What the hell is the difference? So if you're going to get hookers, take my advice, bring a video camera. This way if the police kick in your door and yell, what the hell's going on in there? You can just jump back and yell, cut! <laughs> see? See? Oh. <laughs> I like the little, see? see? Do you well, understand can I ask this? A question? When you said, are there any hookers here and nobody responded, did you go, did you snap your fingers and go, darn? Like, did you I make a little hand movement? It wouldn't surprise me if like, I did. Gosh darn it. But, I wish they were listening. Thank You're, God we can't. We Jimmy, can't clear Jimmy's that up. Uh, high voice makes mine sound very bassy from the yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man. my God. It is just hard. I thought I had a high voice back in the day. Oh. Jimmy sounds like he's two inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, boss. I sound like your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> he just he, I'm, I'm try, is there something that he sounds like but you, I can't get the exact it's just Urkel it's motherfucking Urkel yeah, it's so, yes it's just it's somebody, yeah, it's, it's somebody who's trying too hard oh, it, he really oh, is that's what it is oh, he wanted to, trying he wanted to represent the oh, rest boy. of these jersey hacks he yeah. wanted to show uh, oh, Bob boy. Levy I can do it 
I and, know. You, and you 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 actually told your jokes like you were reading it off a cue card. Yeah. Are there any hookers? I don't know why it's <laughs> oh, yeah. If you can down porn, uh, you should be able to fuck porn. Uh, shut oh, fuck. up. And that voice <laughs> that voice should never make points. Breaking news. No, no, this should no. only go knock knock. That's a knock knock. <laughs> who's their voice? Breaking news. Andy Pettit misheard our conversations about H G H. That's what Clemens. Oh, oh fuck Clemens. Man. He didn't hear him right. That's oh, okay. Boy. Could happen. Uh, yeah. Oh God bless him for taking this all over. <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna flinch, this Clemens. Now he misremembers. Huh? <laughs> Misremembers. Yeah. Andy Pettit misremembers, misremembers our, our conversation. HGH. Misremembers. Uh, yeah, he just awesome. was it in his ass or his thigh. That's what he doesn't <laughs> yeah, remember. Not sure. Who even forgets that shit? I you don't forget. Shocked. You misremember. Clemens right. also said so far, I was shocked. I had no idea that Pettit had used <laughs> HGH. Oh. All right, cut. All right, here we go. More uh, Norton. We're getting to the interview portion. Oh, oh good. That's really. I, I try to sound. Really I want to talk about something important. I was almost killed today. I, this is true. I was cut off. Thank you for laughing at that. I was almost killed my ribs. I was cut off by a tractor trailer. Oh, stop. Now I have an stop it. What, what was I that? What did you just say? I think I improved. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you did because there'd be a hole in the back of your head. Why, you killed him Why can't you just. It was all on Jimmy. It was all piled on Jimmy. Yeah, you can't and be you part of these anymore. Right back Shut to yourself. Off, you, you, can, you can't, can't be million, part of these anymore. That's just right. Don't fuck no. yourself. I got a million great no, lines. Then, we, then we end up beating you up head. instead of beating up the guy that we want to beat up. All right, go to him. I, 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 do, I, I, I throw something out. <laughs> fuck you. I slammed you guys last time I was in here. Barely. So I, oh, barely, my fucking ass. Play the one where you talked about taking a shower with his brother. Exactly. Don't get on me. I'm just trying. Go sit in here. I live amongst you people. These you throw out a bunch of two stick You good. fake seven ha handicap? <laughs> oh. Well, right, Keith, I just want to hear. Well, I mean, boss cheats, and then he says he shoots under 80. I, yeah, it just I don't to be fucking cheat. <laughs> He's crazy. I've played yeah. enough golf with you. I never cheat. What, Bob? Yeah. And you don't tan either. <laughs> yeah. It's just the sun out all the time around you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another Mercury vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yourself. What were you saying? I just. Did, <laughs> when you fake laugh, that little. <laughs> was that. That's oh, you heard, heard that too, but uh, yeah, that's yeah, nerves, yeah. right? Yeah, it's it's got to be. No, no, it wasn't nerves. Yeah, it, it was, let that's me tell you what nerves. it is. Uh, Norton, okay, Norton is known now to be little mean guy, little mean crazy guy. Before he wasn't sure that people weren't going to accept any of his little right. so-called horseshit edgy material. Yeah. So he had to give him a little laugh uh -huh. to say, I was trying to be funny. Well, yeah. It's the guys. same as the guy that does this. It was the same thing. It's the fear of silence after a punchline. It was yeah. the same as the guy goes, did you hear that? Like, I went down there, and it was Tuesday. You guys know what I'm talking Listen, about? Listen, are you, are you explaining that to? Who are you explaining that to? Who are you explaining that to? Because the they don't know the comedians. But also explaining oh, that you actually, stink. No, but I mean... But it's some, a, it's a, I mean it's nothing, helium point, voice. <laughs> Jimmy's making a really good point. Yeah, There's one thing Jimmy brought, Jimmy brought a, a great thing to our radio show, because when we bombed doing our shit on the air... We want to cover oh, that up. It was with, so uncomfortable. We want to cover it up with fake laughter or just move on immediately. And Jimmy like taught us how to just like slow the fuck down and enjoy the bomb, enjoy the uncomfortableness. Yeah, I was scared of the. But back then, people, yeah. but that's why it's interesting. Back then, you were like, you were, you were nervous. Like he wanted to fill up the dead space. He wasn't comfortable. Right. So, so that, but that little. <laughs> yeah, so how why would go? you be? How does it go? I don't remember. Just try. No. Just try to do uh, it. Why don't we just play it on tape? <laughs> why would you be so nervous? <laughs> I was almost killed. My ribs. I was cut off by a cracker trailer. Well, I'll tell no, you. I my ribs. I was, doing, what, what, what? I was doing the audience because they laughed when I was almost killed. So I was trying to be like really funny and off the cuff. Is that where Frunkus came from right there? No, no. Frunk? That's, that sounds very Frunkus-y there. Frunkus is only a year or two old. Ribs. I was trying to do the character. Two years old. I was good. good. All right, let's try to get you to this. You little bastard. Cut off. Thank you for laughing at that. I <laughs> was almost killed. My ribs. I was cut off by a tractor trailer. Now, I have an airbag in my car, it's a driver's side airbag. A few of you nodding, you have an airbag. It is such a hazard to have one. Because when you have an airbag, your horn is not where it's supposed to be, is it? Fuck you. Right? It's not in the middle of the steering wheel where it's, it's been for 80 years. And that's where you need it when there's a truck coming. You want the horn right there. You know, you drive it. Truck! Bonk! Bonk! Ooh. You don't have that with an airbag. You have these little crappy rectangular horns up in the corner. What the hell is that? It's not a horn. It's a chiclet. <laughs> Sounds like your voice. You hear, you hear the, the... And it's not the same when there's a truck coming. It's like, truck! Fishing around for the buttons, were you? Uh, dude. 
Jimmy can't I'm going to die look. in two seconds. My car has a G-spot, and I can't find the damn thing. All right. Kind of a funny wrap-up. Ladies wrap and gentlemen, up. my name is Jim Norton. Thank you very much. All right. right. My name is Jim Norton. Ladies oh. and my name is Jim did you, Norton. Did you hear, did you hear the desperation so, of yeah. the audience just wanting to go along with him. I know. Like he did this horse shit horn thing and they're just going, they wanted boy, to be we there. like him, but he <laughs> stinks. Come on. Listen to me. This is what stinks <laughs> about him. Everything is so profound. What I'm about to say <laughs> is gonna rock your world. But it's in this voice. I have an airbag. Does anybody else have an airbag? Oh, you do? Applaud for yourself. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. These honest. things are dangerous, people. And then he ends it with... <laughs> Can I ask Jimmy something? Uh, when we did this uh, a few weeks ago, do you have anything to say to the old Jim Norton? Um, I, good I, job, I, kid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed talking to the old Opie. It, it was oh. like therapy. I yelled at him. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Throw him out of the sit, gondola of that balloon. <laughs> right. If I could sit down with the old Jim Norton, yeah. I'd be gentle. Okay. I'd say, look, you're funny. Stop being such a worm <laughs> and begging. It's embarrassing. <laughs> you are begging. You're humiliating yourself. If a joke doesn't get a laugh, so be it. Bask in the silence for a moment mm. and move on. Patrice, that was Patrice wants to say that to the Jim Norton now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then Norton did a post performance Which interview. Never you know aired, what, Norton? Seriously, you this deserve never to be fucking taken under a porch and blow some guy. You deserve to be molested with that stupid voice. Mm. Ouch. That, that, was, that was hurtful. <laughs> We're just trying to have fun here. What happened? Yeah, why don't you yell at him now? Why would you want him to be molested? Because exactly. he scares me. Rich, what? Because <laughs> I know he's the real deal. Oh, he's the real deal. Whoa! I wouldn't oh, fuck with Bobby. Exactly. Don't leave Carl well, Carl alone. Physically, <laughs> Bobby has the psycho in his eyes. I, I, I kick I, him in his bad fucking knee, and he's right. back on I the ground. I got a good knee now. I got a brand new fucking oh, ACL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You All right, don't understand. Here's... Bobby goes to fucking a doctor to keep from beating people up. Yeah, I, I got that a long time ago. Bobby has that psycho look, like I could uh, identify with. <laughs> I don't think Bobby's that scary. Shut the fuck up. Don't no, I'm give him the I'm look, kidding. Bobby. Give him the look. Doesn't it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> I used to crack a cheesecake. I used to cop crack in Harlem. He doesn't scare me. Yeah, but you suck dick for it. <laughs> That's true. Put and then when fucking... you were done, just for fun. Yeah, you put a Daisy Duke. You faggot. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite <laughs> stories ever. But I gotta give it a rest. One of my favorite stories ever. trying to be tough. I wouldn't hit you because I don't hit women. <laughs> now he has a polyp on his liver. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, man. His polyp. kidney's growing in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. Here's Norton doing a little post-performance interview. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, okay, never two. two. I that? know, me too. About it, not... <laughs> <laughs> Jim, thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. Reminding me to sit up, the bad posture. Yeah, like a comma. <laughs> exactly. I can't believe this is your first television show. You did a great job. Yeah, it felt good. It was just, it takes a little bit of getting used to, like, looking up at the audience as opposed to looking straight ahead, like in a comedy club. But I had a great time. They were great. Good. Nice. Wasn't too hard, huh? No, no, it was no? good. You just can't curse. So you gotta, like, edit yourself as you're <laughs> exactly. zipping along. But they were good, were good people. Hey, who was that? Zipping along. Who was the interviewer? You were zipping along. Jill Nicolini. <laughs> you have to look up along. instead of straight ahead. Yeah, that's uh, I really... just I hate if you can see the video I'm I'm really trying to be like this charming guy who's oh, comfortable on no television. no you are it I gotta see this how come she said make her, thank you for having me sit up or something actually she, she was talking about sitting up straight or something like that we were just both on these benches with these stools oh and she was, and she looked at your heart oh, oh I'm just asking I couldn't get it no, I, I, I knew what she just did you think I didn't know you bailed out of a joke and made it serious well no I'm talking to me like I'm your fucking neighbor so, <laughs> <laughs> dumb tricks <laughs> we got it's uh, so funny motherfuckers trying to the comedy tricks on each yeah, other exactly we got uh, more of the interview well, how long have you been doing stand-up? About five years. About that's five not, years. That's not very long, then? No, I started when I was 21. I was working in a warehouse, and uh, I just, I just, I always wanted to do comedy. You know, Richard Pryor, 1980, I wanted to do, I have to plug Pryor, if he's watching, uh, oh. um, <laughs> which I know he is. I wanted to do comedy since I saw him. How did you realize oh. you had that talent? Um, oh! You're the one who gave him MS. <laughs> <laughs> That's really embarrassing. How can how can he you, a guy that was had a style that you had dedicate you know like like Well, I didn't rip him off prior. He was just the one that, that you ripped him off. I'm just saying you <sighs> would you would think that the style would be more 
Yeah, but conversation. He was an influence. That doesn't mean he, he's supposed to do prior. It is not yeah. that he was supposed to do just, prior. He, no, you, you don't have like, influences. Like Brian, and then you find your own Brian, voice. Brian Regan, right? Is like if you go, man, I, I like Brian Regan. You can see where you it's, know what you Patrice would, is saying. I get. It's like why wouldn't you be more conversational? I mean, he sound Norton sounds like he's selling elixirs because he was still <laughs> he was still working on his shit. Man. Well, buy this and it will cure everything. <laughs> <laughs> the flu, the cold. <laughs> Yeah, you know, for me. <laughs> He's still trying to work Shut out his up, shit, man. Your wagon just takes you know. off. <laughs> All right. I mean, I had a vision when I first got into radio, but, you know, it took a while to get there. <laughs> At least I come off of my interview as charming and, yeah, and, and here well spoken. And you uh, plug prior, too. Let's I'm go sure back to was it. Great to him. How did you realize you had that talent? Um, <laughs> failing in school. <laughs> failing in school. Um, getting thrown out and uh, winning class clown and the whole nine yards right. in school. Yes, yeah, so I was a failure in school, and that kind of showed me that I had something other than uh, scholastics to work for. Okay. Well, what do you oh. like most about doing stand-up? Um, it's like I'm a quick fix junkie. It's like you know immediately if you're doing well. You know immediately <laughs> right, if you're doing well. Right, 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 acting or anything else, uh, which is another oh. type of a skill you don't know until it's released. I like that because I want to know now how right. I'm doing. Patrice, Are you a quick fix junkie? Well, hold on. How how aggravated do you get when people come up to you? Were you the class clown? All right, and you just admit it, going, "I was the class clown." I you know that stereotype <laughs> to the whole fucking. You world. gotta get off the quick fix, son. Listen. You want to know how you're doing? You stink. Here's your quick fix. <laughs> Immediate. You suck. <laughs> Nobody likes you. Yeah. You're a piece of shit. Oh, I keep I'm listening to Bob in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Positive affirmations. Dude, Dude, you're garbage. Your therapist doesn't even like you. Dude, you deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> you spun that around quick, oh, didn't you? He that certainly did. <laughs> he zipped that one right around. <laughs> He's a yeah. quick yeah. fix junkie. He's crazy. Finally, the last part of the interview. Oh. First of what do you like yes. least about it? Um, being judged by an audience. I don't even mind bombing. I mean, I don't mind that, but I hate when like you Good. tell a joke and a crack goes, uh. The heckling and that kind of. Yeah, and where if they're judging a joke. It's like, if you don't think it's funny, don't laugh, but don't groan at me, because you know you're going to go home and write Scarface and anyway. it's a tough thing to do, so they shouldn't be judging you. Well, yeah, I mean, if you don't like something, I can accept that. I right. just don't like being, uh, you know, that. I, I got what you said. Yeah. No, you don't. Where do you get your material from? Try to get it from my own experience. Um, if not, I'll just watch Comedy Central and steal. <laughs> Don't do that. No. <laughs> now, if you were a stand-up comedian, what do you think you'd be doing for a living? I was doing the house for money, right. and uh, probably that. I'm very lucky. You know, I'm very grateful to. Uh, to be where I am right now. Where um, is that? I don't know what I'd be doing, to be honest with you. It was like, I know I wanted to do this since I was a kid, so it's either this or nothing. Right. Well, you're on the right track. So Thank you. Good luck to you. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it. Absolutely. This is what an asshole she is. Like, wow. She, she, was a little, uh, she doesn't really know what she's doing. She's a little twat. Compare that set to Scarface. <laughs> the <laughs> fact, I, well, no, a I classic. Compared to that he fucking heel, he you should be at, himself, at right. kids' parties blowing up balloons with that voice, okay? <laughs> no, I wasn't, I wasn't saying that. I was only saying that when they judge material. Yeah, yes. I can't believe oh. my point back then went over his head. Yeah, I, was wasn't, saying... I wasn't judging okay. exactly. I, I'm, I'm exaggerating. I know what you were doing. That, it's a joke. That Anthony was, laughed. Shut up. That you should was, see my charming face, though. I okay. want to see that video because I just... Is it up on the site? Watching no. Jim in here, sitting through that, his head was slightly down. He put his... His forehead on his hand, and just had his eyes shut. It's you really cannot certain moments of that. Are no one can sit through that. We, I, I know we couldn't either. That's why it was fun to watch. Some parts don't bother me. I just laugh at it. Other parts, I'm like, oh, you, because they're revealing as to what a little douche I was. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Pryor. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, Richard Pryor. Ugh. He's watching. Yeah, you know uh, hey, this kid's good. Who? What's his name? When we played our audio from 12 years ago, I went home depressed. Really? I really, yeah, I really thought I had something 12 years ago. I had nothing. Oh my God! I went home depressed. Yeah, but he. Grew. I'm glad you said that, Opie. I'm not even fucking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm glad you said that. In comparison, that was Opie's way of saying, "Hey, we all stunk when we was younger." Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. You stunk. I did more yeah. than all of us. It wasn't. No. <laughs> more than all of us. no, I will not accept the ending. Of that. I'll, we can stop it with "I stunk," but not more than all of you. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, we got to <laughs> we got to do line of the day. Don't look at me, you cocksucker. Why? I can't look at you. You're right here. How do I not look at you? Everywhere I look, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Straight ahead and in the peripheral, all at the same time. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, you're eating up my peripheral, kid. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe you should use your high-pitched voice to pop me. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, listen, we got to do line of the day, oh. and we got six runner-ups. Wow. It could have been a lot more than that. SkiColoradoNow.com for info on great deals on 26 <laughs> world-class resorts and up to the minute snow conditions. Log on to SkiColoradoNow.com. Uh, here is a runner-up line of the day. He dresses as nice as he has to I'm at any given moment. I'm trying to maintain moments. something. Patrice, if you get on all fours, we can play hold them on your back. <laughs> That was funny. People are surprised that was funny. Because like <laughs> there was one. a big delay. Wait a minute. Oh, he's... Here's another runner-up line of the day. Every, I mean, y'all can step it up a little. He doesn't look like every black guy in Easter. What do you... <laughs> 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 That's fucking funny, too. Or let's start doing the plugs in between these. Uh, let's go with Rich. You, you get Catch the a rising star, Rhode Island this weekend. Comedy Central special Friday night. Very good. Here's cool. another runner-up line of the day. Special. Did they just go to Silhouette? <laughs> 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 they did once for you. It was called an eclipse. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Jimmy, you're spinning them around on you today. Hey, he really was fast. Yeah. And, and how psyched are you that we don't have to do a show tomorrow? I mean, we'll be here at all, but, you know. Oh, I know. Yeah. This, this should carry uh, carry over for a while. <laughs> we could just be completely well, uh, lazy. You, you got a uh, plug? I got a plug over in uh, Cleveland there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be at Cleveland uh, a February 20th to the 24th. That's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Fuck. Where? No shit. How many so shows place? is that? I think it's 85. <laughs> What's uh, today? Club? Say what club? I, I actually have to, uh, it's improv. At the Cleveland Improv. Cleveland Improv, February 20th to the 24th. Call. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that looks like Bobby's head. <laughs> Again, the Cleveland Improv, February 20th to the 24th. Go to Cleveland. All right. Something.com. Oh, oh, God damn it, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's do it. What's a... wrong with your asshole? Get a bidet. Let's do another uh, runner-up line of the day. Oh, How did you know to give him an A, B, C, or D? <laughs> what, do you give him, what, do you give him smiley faces? <laughs> How does this mean? I got a Q. <laughs> you got a Q. <laughs> right. How did I do? I gave you an upside-down boomerang with a line to it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone's getting their test back, and they're going around the room. I, I got, I got a unicorn sticker. What does that mean? What is a mushroom? Right. <laughs> yeah, that was a group group effort there. Uh, Patrice, plug time. I'm at Stand Up New York this weekend, uh, 78 and Broadway. Numbers two one two five nine five zero eight five zero. Very good. Everyone's talking about the HBO thing. Everyone in my life. Def Jam. Holy shit, they loved it. Yeah, very funny. Thank you. The absolute, the fucking dice line. Fucking oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. My God. it's on on demand too. It's still on it's on still demand. On, yeah, I, episode ninety four. I'm on. Yeah, I, I pushed it a couple times at, in my crib. So, what, what are we up to? One more? Oh, two, two more. more. Shit! Another runner up line of the day. Bob looks like a cloud as you're trying to figure out what shape it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs> and uh, another runner up line of the day. That was that was a dueling plug. Yeah. Wow. Stupid did well. <laughs> See, he can improv. <laughs> Plugs. I wish he could improve. <laughs> yeah. That's a great line. That uh, was a good one. And Jimmy's going to be in San Francisco. He's not going to be here on Friday. I think Kelly is going to uh, sit in. Yeah. I'll be at Cobb's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And my whole tour is on sale. So, Seattle, Detroit, everywhere, man. Just go to myspace.com, Jim Norton, details, ticket links, everywhere. Um, Denver, Pittsburgh, fucking, uh, I'm all over the place coming up. Very cool. I, I also have a plug. What? Believe it or not. <laughs> I just want to say, fuck you, Rick, you ungrateful fuck. Oh! Thank you. Here's your line of the day. Here, Here comes, comes line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. Tempur Pedic pillow. Oh, the gillin. That's a good one. Oh, oh, good. That was the hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> You guys gotta loop that, man. That's gotta be oh, that is fantastic. Just loop the fuck out of that.
<laughs> you, should, you should loop that and dub over like pussy eating audio. Alright, let's do the quick out, guys. This was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Good job today, Rich. Thank you for having us. Yes. What do you mean? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm not kidding. What's it? What's it? Oh, oh, Rich. I'm not fighting again. Don't be you mad, play, Rich. Rich. I'm not mad. Yeah, I, had, right. I, I came angry. out fuck, I can't. I'm you not got fucking... angry with Opie. I saw the face you made. Didn't well, you see he was like really know, yeah. mad at you? Yeah, right, because I fucking kill on these things. I have a couple bad lines. That's what I'm going. A couple bad ones. Oh, you can't come back to If you plant the seeds with these fucking mutants that listen, the message Oh, boys, that's a good that's way to like, do it. Uh, that's well, the way to do it. Get on the air and call them those fucking mutants. Yeah, that's you don't want to say that's one bad rich. thing about you on uh, every like, message that's board. That's brilliant, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> they play right into their they, hands. They know. Look. Well, uh, this is uh, Greg Hughes, uh, the actor that plays oh, the Opie What a show. privilege. <laughs> Hi, I haven't yeah, uh, made an appearance in a while. Listen, to <laughs> I've said it many fucking times that you're hilarious. All right. and in You're studio. hilarious uh, in all the comedy clubs, and you're really funny on the show as well. It's just, Thank you. It's just your thing. We beat you up because you, you show some stupidity right. every, every now and then. Right. Again, yeah. But you I don't know. want people to be confused like you suck on a stage. Not at all. Two hours the other night. You Jew motherfucker. All right, back oh. to Opie. Now, <laughs> no, no, this, no, this, this no, fake handicap of yours. Huh? No. This fake handicap of yours. Uh, you We're going to discuss this at a la on a later uh, show. Fake handicap? Yeah. You mean this retardation? It's yeah. real. His baby this guy, <laughs> Oh, my God. This guy <laughs> loses his ball. He'll, he'll, he'll look for uh, it for no an hour. No fucking way, he'll man. He'll find a ball that obviously was hit in the, in, in the woods in 1979. <laughs> yeah. man, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's playing a different brand of ball with a fucking scar in it. <laughs> and he's claiming it's his ball so You're he can give so his nine handicap. Are you crazy? First of all, I got a 13. You're fucking nuts. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> and I, and I still hold a grudge because my fucking head is all oh, fucked really? up still. You want me to bring in the fucking x-rays of my elbow, all right? That every morning I wake up, I'm in pain, okay? I can't help I can, you, 53. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry that I fucking... <laughs> How about, yeah. how about a four Sorry that you that chipped time. one into his friggin' uh, right, hand? Thank you, Anthony. What's that? Sorry you chipped one into his hand? Oh, sorry I almost got thrown off the stage. And my fucking... <laughs> at least his, his is in pain. I have to sleep with my arm out because if I see my arm bent, I wake up in fucking pain. Did so that ever heal? That ever healed? Huh? My, it, my favorite, my, my favorite Rich Voss thing that we did to him. I mean, we fucked with you today again. This yeah, today was, that was a classic. Great. But listen to me, the best one ever was when you were all you you were looking all pretty for your <laughs> for the fucking Myron show. You had cologne on and new jeans and a new shirt, and, and I dragged you out on the stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we yeah. fucked up your set, which which we try never to do. By the way, but we did, we, uh, we understand the line. We we fucked up. But it's hilarious covered. to watch you like breathe heavy for the for half of your set. You're, you were missing you were half, you were missing half your buttons. Yeah. You were soaked from the water that was poured on you by everybody else. Yeah, fucking that was thrown nasty. off the stool by Jeff Norris in your fucking studio, almost fucking snapped my neck, thrown in a fucking pool in a hairspray pot. Fuck you! I let me tell you what I bring to this show. Or, who did fucking stand up on the stairs in DC? You did, yeah. Come on, Star speak it, Foss. Yeah, right, you thank you. Let it out. Preach. Shut up. Let it out. <laughs> fucking. Let it Pink. out. <laughs> <laughs> you just try to throw your fucking arm. A thirteen handicap. Where you going? Ten foot putts are not gimmies. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, fucking. <laughs> what? Ouch. Oh, you know, if it's not my handicap, oh, because I make some sandwiches for my buddy. Or maybe Which was your... creepy. Did I eat your stupid sandwich? No. no. Good. I'm glad. I brought fucking, you a shirt. We fucking made you sandwiches? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we don't go with it. Who the fuck <laughs> eats sandwiches that another man makes for? First of all, when I play fucking golf, it I don't was the... creepy. He it was golf. nice, but creepy. Did he right. cut the, the corners off? <laughs> it's all, right. all cut up nice. Were they in wedge? Oh, we'll, 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 we'll bring, we'll bring a, a pitching wedge and we'll chip over Bobby into a net. All right? That's that's hurtful. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. See, I can take a hit. You you take one hit, you fucking curl up into a no, ball. No, please, I take hits all the time. I don't mind taking hits. But when someone says, "Oh, you're not allowed to do these," fuck, dude, Who I was you? fucking joking. I know, but they don't, don't know that? it. Who's they? Who's, Who's they? they? Who the fuck is they? The people in Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh 
Because well, he was able to speak Brazilian. <laughs> how do we deal Rich, with Rich, stop reading that man. shit. That's he what thought, makes your life a lot easier. Just he, stop reading that he, shit. He thought Mount Everest was in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to combat that. <laughs> like, once you realize that, well, you understand First of all, he didn't think win. Mount Everest was in Seattle. Mount Everett. And he thought there was a Mount Everett. He wasn't even thinking about the Everest that it could Oh, no, been. he was thinking of the major. He was Wait, where was Bobby major. appearing that weekend? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, I love you, you know Bobby. What? You know what, though? You're not really. In sh you have, like, your body, Anthony, is like a retired astronaut. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> so why don't you go to the gym? I'd rather be I this know. than that. <laughs> He's look, got guns. Show him your guns. Show him, man. Yeah, but look Show at that. Guns. Exactly. That's a zip gun. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen B. Arthur has the same arm. <laughs> 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 We're going to have to redo line of the day. <laughs> a lot of good ones going on line of the day. <laughs> Retired astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> oh. now, we now we turn off the mics and, uh, and we all go our own ways and no one talks to each other. And no one talks to each other. That's amazing. Patrice is leaving early <laughs> so you don't have to deal with this shit. He's well dressed. Hey, people, you don't want to be seen with people, us bums. People don't understand. As soon as these mics go off, it's like, hey. We don't even know each other. Right, it's like the coyote and the, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the sheepdog the when they punch in and punch out. Wait, do you know Bobby called me yesterday? He was in my neighborhood. He was going to come over. And I'm looking at his thing, and I'm like, do I pick up and see him, or do I just jerk off? <laughs> <laughs> I, fuck, I did pick he up and see him. He actually said that to me. He goes, I go, I'm in the neighborhood. And I was going to the doctor for this thing I, that I, I needed this, you know, all this stuff. And he's like, uh, well, I'm, you know, I might uh, jerk off, so I don't know if I want to come <laughs> At over. least he's honest. Yeah, I was very, I really didn't know if I wanted his company or just to fucking scrap another <laughs> load from peeking at Craigslist. Something you do like 20 times a day. It's amazing. Or his company. <laughs> but I, I took his company. Yeah, it was good. We I had nice, regret it. We had a nice right. talk. Let's, nice. uh. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone turn off the lights. We're done. Ron Fez at noon. Noon to three. Bye.